As a small biz pro, I so we roll using procurement, program, and control. As a small biz pro, I so we grow using procurement, program, and control. I'm a business man, yes, I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, yeah, I'm a business man, yes, I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, yeah, I'm a business man, yes, I'm an entrepreneur. Good afternoon. This is the Business Zone with Crystal and, and Gilbert Buchanan, your small business paramedic. And uh, today, Crystal and Dawn, we're going to have a fabulous oh, show, we're right? Yes, we awesome are. Awesome show. We've been, um, it's been a pretty interesting, awesome week. Last weekend, you guys know I was out of town. Yes. It's a uh, phenomenal training, speakers training. Um, uh, camp, boot camp, so to speak. And mm -hmm. I had a fantastic time, met some amazing people. And uh, so the speaking, they're going to, um, the whole purpose is uh, to be an impact speaker mm -hmm. and to speak globally. So what's an impact speaker? Someone that has a message that is delivered and people, it resonates with a person mm. from wherever their core, their spirit, they're mm. there. And so that's kind of how I speak it. That's good. It, you know, people tell me I'm kind of like a pie piper. Yeah. And so, Make things happen. Yeah. And so the guy, his name Absolutely. is... Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doc, Dr. Uh, Ruben West, he is... Uh, this is his speaking bureau. Yeah. And uh, he is... Um, um, this great dark guy that sorry about that guys and uh, so it was cool so I met a lot of amazing people so here's an interesting thing that people in the Midwest are which we know they you know landlocked so they're not as advanced in business and concepts and ideas as we are and I think I mentioned to you I was talking to a number of people about being business ready contract ready and bank loan ready mm -hmm. uh, they didn't even know that they could do certain contracts mm. they they understood contracts from the federal level right but they don't know anything about contracts from the city or the county level mm. and and, interesting. and so of course with just looking for contracts for the federal level that's very competitive if right. your business is not any you know you got to be on point right, right right and so we talked about that and so some of them you know i've made some connections quite a few of them are going to be on the show good very good very so they're going to skype in and well, I want to know what did you learn. <laughs> I don't care about who was there. What did you learn? <laughs> What's going to make me a better speaker? Nah. What's going to make you a better speaker? So, I mean, this is stuff you know already because it's table tops. So, okay. You know, we did that. We did an exercise where we do the table topics. Uh, we also did an exercise where someone come up, someone comes up behind you. They put a word on a on a card and then they hand it to you, and then you, you seamlessly. Speak about it. Incorporated in whatever the conversation. That's fun. You really? Having. So that that sounds like fun. fun. Were you good at it? I was. <laughs> hmm, let's uh, test you out really quick. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, the table topics. You know, I can speak off the cuff. That's yeah, usually how I speak off the, the cuff. And more impact is more speaking from the moment, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. As opposed to having you have some key points and factors that you want to talk about and speak about, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you don't have a written agenda right. that okay. you memorize. It's like being an extemporaneous speaker. speaker mm -hmm. Right, exactly. And trainer. Yeah. I mean, a trainer and educator, right? Yeah. So as you're speaking from what's going on at that moment, mm -hmm. not necessarily what you've written down because right. you adjust it to your right. audience and mm -hmm. to the moment. And so... So there was some, some very interesting, there's one young lady, and it, and it is really appropriate today in the Me Too movement. Right. So this young lady, she had, um, she was working as a secretary for this medical uh, manufacturing company. Mm -hmm. And her child, when she had her fourth child, he was born with an illness that required medication and treatment of about $10,000 a month mm. and her insurance did not pay for it. Mm -hmm. So she knew she had to make a change in her, how she got, got the money. She was going to take care of her kids, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Hey Gwen, how are you? And so um, she uh, became a salesperson for the company. Mm -hmm. And so she started making so much money 
that she was making more money than the doctors were. Uh-huh. And this was a company uh-huh. that was owned by doctors. So, so they now came, they want to change the plan. Right. They actually <laughs> fired her. They told her See? that they told her that she she made was she wasn't a doctor, so therefore she shouldn't be making that kind of money. Yeah. Right. Now she was making money for them because she was going out selling medical equipment. Yeah. Wow. So what That's she did usually how it is, right? Man. But she turned the tables. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She bought the company. That's what I'm talking wow. about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. That's Poetic justice. Talking about. <laughs> so That's I thought that I'm was phenomenal. About. Yes. And uh, so she won quite a few awards. You, you, you're skipping back to what's going on, what went on there. I want to know what you like. <laughs> <laughs> we were able to go give us some secrets. That's so, what we want to so know. So we talked about that. We talked. Did you get a chance? Did you get a five minute? Give a five minute speech. Did you get a chance to do actually that. Actually, did we recorded? Did they critique you? Yes. No, okay, no, they, no. Actually, they didn't critique. <laughs> what they did was at each of the tables. Uh-huh. Yeah, they did. They gave feedback. So what was the feedback the you received? <laughs> that I was very passionate. Mm-hmm. I was very knowledgeable. Mm-hmm. Tell us uh, the bad stuff, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was no bad stuff. No. <laughs> there was no bad stuff. No, Crystal's an excellent speaker <laughs> on many topics. That's why right. I love her. <laughs> so, and so I met with this guy who is an ambassador for an African country. Country called Barangi, and he has been appointed to go out. He has some initiatives that they want to address in Africa mm-hmm. and entrepreneurship and health and wellness mm-hmm. and so forth. So he's come, he, he's been looking for a partnership with a, a, um, a speaking bureau or people that are speakers but they really believe their message is not about making the money Mm -hmm. you know the money will come Mm -hmm. but they really and they're not selling their packages and that kind of stuff so that's what he found with the black belt speakers Mm -hmm. and he was just he was really um it resonated with his spirit Mm -hmm. and so he's partnered up with them and so that's how awesome. they're going to become global. They're going to move around. But a couple of the women are already have spoken in Dubai. Really? Mm-hmm. Well received wow. in Bo- Dubai. That's, and, that's, and, that's unheard of. That's unusual. Oh, yeah. They were. Usually they don't give women a lot of front row roles in, um, in uh, Dubai. Right. Yeah. They, they, these women. Now, m- mind you. The, the message is being translated to yeah. quite a few mm-hmm. of them. Yeah. They came up, and I and and there was a young lady that's a media mogul. She, I mean, she just does her thing, so she captured it. And these women were surrounding them at the end, going, "Oh my God, is this is life changing stuff?" Really? Did you yeah. videotape anything? I did. Yeah, I have some stuff that's video. But you're holding on to it. <laughs> I'll share. <laughs> I'll share. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the Wednesday's information. So you oh. We have so much going on here on the show. This is why I love the show. Monday and Wednesday, we have classes. Where are the videotapes? Uh, I, oh, the, the, the Wednesday. Well, first of all, I'm doing a Monday night class, yes. QuickBooks. Mm-hmm. People are just so excited. In fact, so excited. They want me now to do an accounting bookkeeping class without the software. Right. Really? Just helping them understand yes. the concept. I told them I don't even know how to, I don't even know what to do with this. Because I never had anybody. They want me. Crystal right. to point. Oh. Yes. <laughs> That's good stuff. But the digital marketing class yeah. is all off the chain. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. we so he Wednesday night was how to set up your a, a website that can be monetized mm-hmm. yeah. and also your hosting mm-hmm. company is important for monetizing. Right. So he was going through the the sources that you receive revenue yeah. with a website. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So one of them is through ads. Mm-hmm. So the ads are the banner ads that right. come up around the top, the mm-hmm. sticky down the side right. and they're on the bottom, right? So <clears throat> and uh, and then driving traffic using your content, which mm-hmm. all of us have a, yes. incredible content. Mm-hmm. And then, so he was showing this one company that they do, hey, Candace, they do, they post twice a week mm-hmm. on Monday and Thursday only. Mm-hmm. They, they have a cooking uh, foodie blog. And they make uh, net gross $95,000 in a month. Mm-hmm. Really? Consistently per month, per month, Mm -mm -mm. and then they make um, their net after their expenses. You said ninety five thousand. You said ninety five hundred. No, I said ninety five thousand. You said ninety five thousand. Ninety five thousand. Nine five. You want to make sure you heard it right. I'm gonna start blogging and cooking. Ninety five thousand dollars a month. Right. Yeah, but what's that a year? Oh man, that's more than a million. Oh gosh, more than a million. Are there any men there? (laughs) 
It's about one single man there. there. It's about one one point almost one point two million. Two million dollars. And that's just on so the largest porch, that's our overall. So there's five ways. Through ads, uh-huh. through um uh sub sponsorship, mm-hmm. through uh your own product mm-hmm. and through membership. Okay, that's four. Four the and then one? the last one is Oh, I can't remember the last one. It did say blog, right? Well, that blogging is what's generating the, okay. the, the, the content. That, mm-hmm. That's the ad. So, the oh, through ebooks. Okay. Yeah. So, and selling ebooks for other people. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, we get authors on this show all the time. Yeah. yeah. So, we're talking about us keep it, creating a link. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And then we're, their book is being sold from our site, right. and then they're providing affiliate marketing that's pretty awesome. funds. Sounds good to so me. So that that, that's about awesome. five to six thousand, five five thousand to seven thousand a month uh, yeah. sponsorship, which is you know someone like you get an ad and they sponsor the show. Right. Mm-hmm. That's about this company about twenty two thousand. Uh, and these are not corporations. So you know corporations are making money out the, the whatever the are CNN. they sold props. Uh, these are just soul props. Wow. Mm-hmm. And most of them are just bloggers mm-hmm. who mm-hmm. looked at making money. And then he showed us one where this guy has, and he only does this. He only has a oh, membership. Mm-hmm. So membership is he, his content, I can't remember what he does. I think it's something in the tech world. Mm-hmm. He charges $35 mm-hmm. per, for a member mm-hmm. per month. Mm-hmm. And he has about 13,000 members. So do the math on that. You must have a loyal following. Yeah. So that's about four hundred. That's that's four hundred and fifty thousand a month just on membership. Mm -hmm. I think we all. all of us. I'm I'm in the process of setting all this up. I y'all messing up. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm in the process. By January, it's on and cracking. Yeah, it's on and cracking. Yes, yes. 2019, baby. 2019 is on. So the rules. Go ahead. The room is packed, oh. and every week we get new people. They're so excited right. that they don't even know what to do. And on top of that, we're going to create a platform where we can research, re- refer out. So obviously, you're coming in. Not everybody's mm-hmm. great writers, right? So there's someone there that we were going to. Uh, we will have to have an editor and writer that can help with captions and making sure they're using the right keywords mm-hmm. so that they move right. up in the in, mm-hmm. the in the search engine. Op- and how op- many more weeks is the class? We're doing this. Ongoing. At first, it was scheduled on for four weeks. Now you're doing ongoing. Ongoing. See what happens here at the business zone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got with the two of them. Yes. That's what we do That's here. That's awesome. So, <laughs> and we're gonna move it around the city. Yeah. Okay. So, so do you have a structure to it? To where um, are you? Is it is it done in individual classes? Um, and then you can go back and repeat class one, class two, class three. Is it kind of? You it, know what I mean? What it is. So it, that, is it going to repeat itself? Or? Yeah, some of them will repeat itself. Right now, we're just going through the fundamentals of what you need to do to set up a website, or if you have a website, if it's if it's if it can be optimized for revenue generation. Mm-hmm. Most of our websites are not, um, and then uh, we're talking about blogs. So soon, eventually, we'll talk about the content that goes in blogs. Mm-hmm. Being creative, so you creating blo- blogs and 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 posts that are engaging to people. Mm-hmm. Um, then uh, we actually so these are f- totally free classes on Wednesday. Uh-huh. I was just going to ask you how much right. does it cost. So, so these are totally free. But if, and then behind the scenes, we're going to start developing a library of uh, of, of training classes, mm-hmm. a boot camp type, where you can go back to refer. Right. And this is on Wednesday nights. The the classes on when the the free classes on Wednesday night and he, from, from what time to from five thirty to seven thirty five thirty to seven thirty Wednesday nights at, at the Urban League at forty four oh one Crenshaw Boulevard and Suite two oh one is there any way they need to do they need to call in to and register for the class yeah uh, no they just can just come up? on in mm-hmm. we get them all signed up when they get there and then after that so now. So that's that part. So mm-hmm. now you have to quit. How are you going to continue to do this? And, mm-hmm. and where does the money, where do we generate money, yeah. right? Yeah. So we're going to generate money because you all know that when it comes to creating websites and blogs, oh, and also uh, a mobile app, that there are some people who are going to be capable of doing that on their own. Mm-hmm. They're going to cut people, some be certain people going to say, hey, can you just do this for me? So we've already getting those calls already. Yeah, yeah. And so and then we'll refer those. When you out. say we, do you mean like us three as in? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to be clear. I, 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 I don't I want love, my money get 
mixed up. I and love your, your <laughs> sense of clarity. We're going I love to, it. I'm here. I'm here for when you miss stuff. <laughs> I know. Especially when she gets to talking. No, I got you. I hear you. you say, she keeps saying we. I need to understand what we mean. So, so the we here is going to operate on the business <laughs> zone <laughs> platform yes. that is going to be used to generate. So if all of us are contributing, mm-hmm. we should be ma- and driving traffic. We should have millions of people. 95000 a month. Uh, right. Uh, I think we can share that's our target right there, baby. That's the target. Yeah. So I have a couple of um, I have a couple of commercials for you. Oh, you do. Yes. Good. Tell my audience real quickly about the commercials that we're going to be doing here during the segment. Um, so we have, um, well, we have, did you, you didn't, well, we will have yours, mm-hmm. right? And now I'm doing something new. I'm adding in all of, we've been on the air for two and a half, a couple of months. We're on our, in our third year. Mm-hmm. So we've interviewed some amazing people. Yes. So now I'm creating a little collage, a little video collage every week that will have some of our guests on there. Mm-hmm. And Past guests. A past guest, and so we're gonna. That's gonna be aired on the show, and then it will go on Facebook. And uh, the well, ones I was we- referring to the commercials, the forty dollar commercial spot. I got you three people that are interested in the forty dollar commercial spot here. Oh well, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. So they're watching it, so they want to know some more information on the forty dollars and have their commercial aired on the business zone. I don't know if it's once a week. If they pay forty, is that just for one show, or if they pay, is that for the whole month? Do you have? Have you well, thought about that we haven't, We'll work on the details. In okay. fact, we so. actually have hired or contracted or mm-hmm. commissioned a, a marketing promotional team. Okay. And so if they are interested, they need to reach out to either myself or Gilbert. But you can reach us at contact us at the business zone with Crystal and Gilbert dot com. Mm-hmm. And then we will send you over the marketing kit and direct and refer you over to our team. Yes. I'm out there making moves for us already. Uh, I uh, like it. You know, I'm moving a little ahead of the yeah. plan. <laughs> but that's what move, I do. So girl, move. The $40 is just a general level. And I guess the package will tell you the other options you may have. So. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you will be aired doing the spot on the show. Mm-hmm. And then I think we probably can blast it doing our, on our Facebook yeah, and our absolutely. other outreach um, as well. Sounds so good. I think that sounds, sounds fantastic. Well, Crystal, it sounds like you had a fabulous last uh, seven to ten days. I have. That's I have. Great. Overshadowed the craziness that's going on in, I and, hear and that. all over the other part of the world. You, you know that's how good. we try to distract ourselves? Jump. That's what that is. That's, you know, the things that we do is for distraction purposes. Mm-hmm. So, Don. Tell me, tell me about you, Don. What have you been doing over the last seven to ten days since last, since our last show? Well, since I, I aired Nationwide on the Blend yes. Talk Show, yes. as the um, fitness expert and recurring host, you'll uh-huh. hear more about that shortly. Uh-huh. Um, life has been incredibly awesome. Uh-huh. <laughs> been getting lots of calls from oh, Hollywood. Oh, Hanukkah, yes. Absolutely, yes, yes, yes. I got some free tickets to go to, uh, to do an event that costs $600 to come in. Really? Really? Yes, people are recognizing. All my, right, um, look yes, at that. Who I am? Just, See? You no, know, I'm just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she had a, in, in the gym no. the other day. She had an overflow of students. Oh, she, I mean, because they're so watching the blend. She, yes, absolutely. <laughs> You'll hear more about the blend shortly. It's an amazing show. I'm gonna have show. to talk to the executive director super here to excited see if about I can get a part slot of it. on the blend <laughs> too. <laughs> I need some notoriety. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you get a chance to talk to them. They are here. Other than that, I've been training. I've been working, building my platform so I can make this ninety five thousand a month. Uh huh. Yeah, and find my husband in the process. Hi, sweetie. Uh, <laughs> well, that's nice. You're acknowledging him. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. Does, does he know it's him? Does no, he know it's him? I know who he is. He's still trying to figure it yeah, out. Yeah, you know who he is. But does he know it's him? <laughs> well, he'll he'll know soon. <laughs> he'll know and if he soon. don't, it's okay. I'm making ninety five thousand a month. Uh, <laughs> who needs a man? Beat him off. Yeah, there you go. I have to beat him off with stick. And how about you, sir? Well, for me, uh, I I did a, a training session this morning with the Vermont Slauson Economic Development Center. They wanted to learn about Small Biz Pro. Okay. So they're rolling it out for their staff. Mm-hmm. They had about 13, 14 people there. So we had to teach them how to use it, how to manage their documents, upload, retrieve it, you know, using their laptop, their smartphone, etc. So it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, they're very excited right now. They've been uh, using it to send documents to the city of Los Angeles and, and other contract providers. So it's a good thing. It's a oh, good that's thing. cool. That's cool. And he was course, supposed to come to training on Monday morning. I, I didn't get the memo. I'm we sorry. Had, uh, we, had, he had, we had such a great conversation on Friday. He talked... <laughs> 
He talked about how great I was, how awesome a trainer I was. And he spoke very highly of me. And again, he refuses to show up. <laughs> I don't get that part. So, so you think that was just words? It, you I'm know, starting to think it's a bunch of just bullshit. You, you know, I wanted I wanted to come to her training <laughs> until I saw that chapter of The Bland where she was working out that lady so we were hard. I'm going, I'm going, no, I can't do that. We were doing low impact exercise. <laughs> We really, yeah, they they haven't even done a burpee on the blend. Oh yet. my yeah. lord! That's when you <laughs> enter intensity. Look at Crystal and tell Crystal congratulations, Crystal. congratulations, congratulations. She Crystal. is doing full out burpees. Oh my lord! She went from half burpee. Freeze the low impact burpees. She's doing full out. So she's doing burpees. high profile burpees. Listen, she went from full out, full out burpees on the floor to burpees with weights in her hand. Oh my soul! She, I am so proud <laughs> of my friend. I'm so proud. I know she had me doing whatever these are, the arm things with the arm curls. Yes. What, thirty pounds? Uh, she was doing bent over rows. It's bent. a back exercise. Mm. She had a thirty pound. Barbell weight, but she sold it with both arms, both hands. Uh-huh. She's just pulling up and down. It was Man. good. She's stronger than she thinks, and she was training today. She's a better. She didn't train- try to cheat me out of any of the numbers today. She's no. a better was- trainee than me. <laughs> You won't even show up. <laughs> <laughs> Someday I will. Someday so, I will. <laughs> so Candace says, well, first of all, the QuickBooks is amazing. But she says, Gilbert, don't be scared. <laughs> I was a scared of Cam. Uh, uh, Candace. Dawn scares the heck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm not going anywhere near that gym. She's going to have to come hijack me at my no. house. <laughs> that's too funny. Now, for those of you who are just tuning in, you're on the business zone with... With Crystal. Dawn. And Gilbert Buchanan, you're a small business paramedic. And if you don't know what this show is about, this show is a, a platform that helps small businesses get matched up with uh, contract providers for supply diversity opportunities. And what we say here at the, at the business zone is we're not training you just to do transactional business. We want you to do contractual business. Transactional business means that you do one business today, you may do one next week or next month, and you may not do another. But with contractual business, you get a one-year or two, five, five, two to five-year contract and then you're, you're certain of your revenues coming in. So that's what we try to do here at the Business Zone. And Crystal has been killing it in the accounting and bookkeeping space. Don has been killing it in the training and fitness space. And, of course, I'm trying to catch up to them. So <laughs> well, you're with, doing with, your thing in your space as well. With, with my business management certifications and uh, infrastructure development, I'm trying to catch up to them. Yes. And, and it's interesting. People, like I said earlier, People are, are, are realizing that in order to to do contract business, that means their business has to be operating in, in, in compliance. Yes. They have to have a strong financial structure. So a lot of them are getting that now. Mm-hmm. And I tell you, they're so excited in my QuickBooks That's class. Great. I'm just absolutely amazed. That's good. Um, and, and, and I got a new client this week. And this young man, oh, he's probably in his 30s. He, he comes from a third generation of, of concrete poor. Mm. So he just got a contract, and that's Ooh. how I, he was a referral to me. He just got a contract with LAX. Really, life changing for this yeah. young man. Yep. And he's in his thirties, uh-huh. and and he's looking at change. His business looking has at it just totally, totally differently. changed yep. now. Yep. So I'm excited about him and for him. And he he even had just even when he did his own QuickBooks. I don't have to do it. I have to make some adjustments. Mm-hmm. But I asked him, I said, you're doing this yourself? Who taught? He said, I taught myself. Mm, very good. But he said his father did mostly residential mm-hmm. um, uh, uh, work. Yeah. And, and they did very well. And he worked for his dad, but never tra- kept track of anything. Know how much money he was making or right. any of that. But with contracts, he realized he has to do that. He sounded like he could be a good client. Yeah. See, clients who have the ability to develop good infrastructure, mm-hmm. those are the clients we want. Right. We've been working with all types of clients. We've been working with the clients who have all their receipts in a little shoebox. <laughs> they don't really care about doing things the right, right way. We've been working with clients who have their ducks in a row, but they just need to learn about the procurement space, the government contracts and all of mm-hmm. that. And then you've got the clients who really... They don't really want us to help them anymore. They want to do it themselves uh-huh. until they find out that right. it's not all fun and game. Right. And then so they'll funny. come back. As I sit here, 
on the show, I'm 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 looking uh, in retrospect at how I first started my business out of the little shoebox, yeah. and, you know, <laughs> yeah. and how my business has grown. So right. it's kind of exciting. That's good, you guys. That's good. Just kind of see where I, where I was, to where I'm going, and I'm and I've been doing better since I've been on the show. Good. We well, just need to get you to sign up for Small Biz Small Biz Pro now. I Start just signed up for Small Biz Pro. You did. Yeah, I never you, saw that come through. You just treat me bad because I'm on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw. I never saw it come through. I thought you sent me the email. You sent me the information, right? And then yes, I, I did. Maybe but I, didn't I can finish. send it again. Maybe I just didn't finish. I can I, help I, you. I can help you log on. Stuff. How about that? I promote your business. I'm on the show. <laughs> I'm a part of this thing. And, and, and once she starts with her, after she uh, kicks off her big launch, yes. When, well, when that's when my she... second. But I, I am. I do have contracts. All of my clients are contract clients. Good. So that you know. Good. As a matter of fact, I, I've learned from the show that everyone is not my customer. It's okay for me to tell someone Good no. Job. And I, I released myself this week of a couple people. There you go. Yeah. Just release them to their destiny. I, yeah, I gave one guy his money back. He said, I can't do That's it. True. I love you. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll set you up on a program, a one-time program, but I cannot train you. You yes. just don't. Man. And I'm sure you know mm -hmm. that 20% uh, of your clients are going to try to suck up 80% of your time. You can't afford to let that happen. No, not at all. You see what right. I mean? Mm -hmm. And as, as consultants, the sooner we recognize that, yes. the better it will be for us. Right. Or we're going to be there trying to spoon feed them and babysit mm -hmm. them all along. No. And then the other 80%, they're not gonna. They're gonna be cheated. They're not gonna get right. what they need from us. And, and, it, and it's a, it's a good thing when you learn that not all clients are great clients. Mm -hmm. right. and, and when we first start our business, that's what we do, right? Because yeah. you know we you need everyone. money, or you take oh, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as you start to make some growth plans mm -hmm. and, and become more strategic mm -hmm. yeah. about what your specialty mm -hmm. niche is, right. yeah. then you're like, okay, this is not fitting mm -hmm. in here. Start right. cutting a few right. people You loose. have to start to, and, mm -hmm. and I usually have a referral, which is one of the reasons you know I'm doing the QuickBooks classes to develop some trainer to trainer so yeah. I can start farming yeah. out yeah. Yeah. some of the ones, you know, smaller businesses. Right. I, I myself prefer the uh, troubleshooting, come in and the forensics of accounting. Right. That's what I like. Yeah. Yeah. And helping you grow right. to that right. next level oh, yeah. and monitoring your cash flow. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's exciting to me. Oh, right. yeah. uh, just the mundaneness of doing books. Is, so yeah. I believe that there's I can work with everyone in some capacity, so I like to sit down with a new person. Yeah. I, I'll have them pay for one session with me at full price mm -hmm. and let's see if we fit right mm -hmm. uh, and we'll train and I'll decide because trainers like to train yeah. and sometimes when someone is unable to do certain things right. it becomes a little frustrating mm -hmm. I, I want work to be a happy space for right, me right. and not so much um you know yeah. draining because sometimes I feel like I'm the uh I'm uh um, I am a chiropractor. I'm a, I'm a rehabilitation yeah, kind of therapist person. I'm even a, and all of yeah, that. All yeah, all that. So yeah. it's hard. But so I don't like to necessarily because I'm not. I'm training you, training mm -hmm. you to lose fat, building muscle. I'm not necessarily. In some cases, I do. If that's what I want to do, I want yeah. to rehabilitate you. I, I'll do that. Yeah. But so I can write your diet and send you to someone else to do an exercise. So yeah. I just made um, three hundred fifty dollars off a client. Yeah. Uh, and it's a it's it's three hundred fifty dollars a month. It's reoccurring. That's good because I'm gonna be writing their diet, that's and I sent them to someone about. else to train. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. And, you, and, and that's necessary because some people that's mm -hmm. the, for some people that's the hardest thing. Yeah, yeah. is just knowing what to eat and how to eat. Mm -hmm. I think Oprah. Yeah. Was that, that was her issue? Right. It's just knowing what to eat, and when she got up, finally got over the Weight Watchers. I guess in addition, to I think uh, Oprah's smart. Oprah knows it's, it's about doing it with a busy yeah. schedule. Because yeah. yeah. even for me, I know what to eat, and yeah. sometimes it's hard to make. I'm on the run. Right. Yeah, it's hard to make the best choices That's true. sometimes. It is. And then when you're stressed, everybody just goes mm -hmm. left. You know, so sometimes it's just about implementing what you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's designing your day the night before right. so that you are set and ready to go. So that meal prepping is 100 percent important. If you don't meal prep. You're gonna be swinging it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And if I know that I can't, like, if I'm going someplace and I can't take my fish because I can't leave it in the car, it's about finding out what's in the area, taking a few minutes the night before to find out what's in the area, mm -hmm. uh, what restaurants in the area, and looking at the menu to pick what I can eat there. Yeah. So you know what? When you meet Armin mm -hmm. and you come part of digital marketing, yes, that would be an app. Mm -hmm. That would be off the chain, yes. right? Wherever you are. And then his apps will give you geo planning mm -hmm. and mapping out. Yes. Everywhere you go, where is the fresh foods, mm -hmm. where are the healthy food, right. and what, what restaurants can mm -hmm. I eat at? That would be awesome. Don't want to share your trade secrets too much on the air. No, not at all. I'm sure <laughs> we got a few pirates. <laughs> but I know we've been talking a lot about the blend, and a lot of our customers, uh, I should say our listeners out there, they're trying to figure out what the heck is a blend. Yes. What is this blend? Is it a blender? What is it? 
<laughs> so we're going to talk to you guys later on. We're going to bring on a guest on our show to explain to you what the blend is and how it's going to blend your life into good flavor. Right. Yeah, so we're at the bottom. Exciting new thing that <laughs> oh, has yeah. just hit Los Absolutely. Angeles. Absolutely. So, so we're excited about the guest right. that we have here. And, and Don is part of it. Don is a part of part it. So of it. we're going to hear how she's on her way to stardom there. So <laughs> Right. Hopefully she don't forget us. I know. I'm, I'm not going to forget you. <laughs> so <laughs> we're at the bottom of the hour. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick break right now. We're going to bring on our very special, one of our special special guest to let us know more about the blend, this blend that we're talking about, find out what it is. So, you're on the business zone with Crystal, Don, and Gilbert Buchanan, your small business paramedic. Take a break. Hello, meet Larry. Larry is a general contractor. Larry is very good at his craft, but Larry has a very tough time managing his paperwork because he is busy taking care of his client's needs. Larry just cannot find his important business documents when needed. Larry is also being passed over for bid opportunities from prime contractors because he is perceived as not ready. He doesn't know where his business license, certifications, insurance, and other key corporate documents are located most of the time. Lucy owns an auto body and collision repair shop and has been using a business management and procurement assistance program called Small Biz Pro to keep her business organized, business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. Small Biz Pro is a three-in-one cloud-based business management, procurement, and market research assistance system designed to help businesses become business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. It also provides back office operation solutions for small businesses. Lucy is able to stay ahead of her competitors because she uses Small Biz Pro to manage her business daily. Lucy just clicks on Small Biz Pro from her tablet, mobile phone, laptop, or any internet accessible device for data retrieval, and she's got it. Lucy introduces Larry to Small Biz Pro, and now Larry is more organized and can now find all of his documents and new bid opportunities in seconds. Larry now saves $120 in labor costs for each missing or misplaced document. Just simply go to your web browser and log into smallbizpro.net and register today for a limited 30-day free trial offer. Services start as low as $1 per day. Let's put the competition out of business. Small Biz Pro. If you stay ready, you don't need to get ready. Register now at smallbizpro.net and begin saving money. Email info at smallbizpro.net or call 626-533-1186. Hello, meet Larry. Larry is a... Larry is a general contractor. Larry is very good at his craft, but Larry has a very tough time managing his paperwork because he is busy taking care of his clients' needs. Larry just cannot find his important business documents when needed. Larry is also being passed over for bid opportunities from prime contractors because he is perceived as not ready. 
He doesn't know where his business license, certifications, insurance, and other key corporate documents are located most of the time. Lucy owns an auto body and collision repair shop and has been using a business management and procurement assistance program called Small Biz Pro to keep her business organized, business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. Small Biz Pro is a three-in-one cloud-based business management, procurement, and market research assistance system designed to help businesses become business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. It also provides back office operation solutions for small businesses. Lucy is able to stay ahead of her competitors because she uses Small Biz Pro to manage her business daily. Lucy just clicks on Small Biz Pro from her tablet, mobile phone, laptop, or any internet accessible device for data retrieval, and she's got it. Lucy introduces Larry to Small Biz Pro, and now Larry is more organized and can now find all of his documents and new bid opportunities in seconds. Larry now saves $120 in labor costs for each missing or misplaced document. Just simply go to your web browser and log into smallbizpro.net and register today for a limited 30-day free trial offer. Services start as low as $1 per day. Let's put the competition out of business. Small Biz Pro. If you stay ready, you don't need to get ready. Register now at smallbizpro.net and begin saving money. Email info at smallbizpro.net or call Business Zone with Crystal Dawn. and Gilbert Buchanan, your small business paramedic. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. This is a great show today. We've got some very, very wonderful guests here on our show today. And Crystal, who do we have in the studio? Well, we have uh, the creator the, uh, of The Blend, which is a new talk show uh, format that has just hit the Los Angeles networks. And hopefully they will be syndicated and all over the country and all yes. over the world. No uh, and, and that is this brainchild. Now, first of all, let me explain. Uh, Ms. LaVonda Ross. She was, I think you were a referral to me. I'm not quite sure how. I just got a phone call one day. I was coming from Mount Sac, and she, someone had told her about me, yeah. and we got to talking. And so she wanted to do this conference with lady doctors, mm-hmm. and she wanted to uh, bring an inspirational message to women. Mm-hmm. And so she told me what she wanted to do, and she asked me if I could help. So I rounded up all my people mm-hmm. that could be in the space. Yep. Miss Rhonda Santaford, and mm-hmm. because it was in in regards to health, yes. and so Rhonda is the you know the person you know she has her celebrate life and 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 eating and nutrition for those that have been um, diagnosed with cancer. So I brought her, and at the time I think Don, I referred her to you because of you were working with the American Diabetes Association, mm-hmm. and I know you also know. Everybody as okay. well, and a number of other people. Hmm? Ready for the video? Yeah, and a number of other people. So, this new brainchild of of Lavanda, she's the executive. You're the producer, right? The executive producer. 
Uh, oh, and so she creates, so she did the, she was working on the, on the conference. And, you know, sometimes God lets you know that that's not the direction he wants you to go in. <laughs> so uh-uh. when that's the case. Although it's good. Right? This the is where you start. Yeah, the puzzle not pieces you <laughs> may not all fit the way you want them to fit. No yeah. matter how no you matter keep how trying to try, shove yeah. them in, right? Yeah. So then I guess she went back to the drawing board because that kind of, we, that kind of, Went low for because, a little while because he had a mission for the mind, mind the for body, a, a and the bigger spirit, concept. Right? <laughs> so she then created to blend. Yeah, and you, you and I went to the launch the other day. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, Dawn had told me she was on the blend, and I was all excited about yeah. it. But I don't know if I ever heard you say Lavanda. I never said, yeah, I think I did say Only thing you said to me about lady doctors, and I thought, wow, that sounds familiar. Okay. But I never asked anything oh, more right, about right, it. Right, right. So when that hit me was when I was sitting at the theater. <laughs> and she said, oh. And she the said, doctor. the lady, and she introduced us like, oh, my God, that makes sense, the lady doctors. So <laughs> this is a inspirational talk show de- debuting in, tw- in the fall of 2018. Mm-hmm. And the series seeks to heal spirit, mind, and body by bringing together a panel of four African-American health and wellness experts for a lively hour that helps viewers live more empowered life. And I was just so impressed with the with the caliber of the show when I was at the launch. I mean, yes. even the launch party was right yes. off the top, just like Hollywood. <laughs> it, it was Hollywood. Yeah. It and, was awesome. and you Absolutely did a phenomenal awesome. job. Phenomenal. And I know this has been your mission for a very, very long time. And, uh, and, and this is just well. awesome she did to well. see what you've created. Yeah. And it's phenomenal. You've chosen some amazing individuals to help you carry yeah. out this mission yeah. and vision. So welcome. 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 To the show. And Thank and you. you're Thank you've you got a I know when you first talked about the conference to me, your your primary goal was to create film and a program and shows and so forth. That was what the initial program what the concept and goal was, right? No, let me let me kind of rectify that. What ended up what the vision started with this was to have uh, wellness conferences, as you stated, that featured or focused on um, African American women issues. That doctors that look like them could speak to those issues. Mm-hmm. Simultaneously, I always had in mind the lady doctors, okay. so I wanted to do both of them. And again, thank you for all of your help because you really did call out, you know, your uh, your followers, your friends, and they were right there. But for some reason, like you said, it just never panned out. Um, but Lady Doctors, I knew was something that the Lord had given me because I had an outpatient surgery and well, I was about to have an outpatient surgery in 2015. And prior to having that surgery, my prayer was, Father, I, I really want an African-American woman physician. Uh, I feel like I can relate to her. She can relate to me and help me through this process. And that uh, prayer was answered in the form of Dr. Mia Sanders. All went well. But I literally had an epiphany. And the epiphany was, if I feel this way, I know that there are other black women that feel this way. And uh, simultaneously, I just got tired of seeing us die from hypertension, diabetes, things that I know are manageable, things that I know can be eradicated if we just had a true, uh, true insight. And then alternative methods. So that was my original thought, that Western medicine and, and practices are great, but or to an extent, but what we need is alternatives for us. And then I realized, um, being a graduate of Oral Roberts University, being a Christian, that spirit, mind, and body was drilled in me, drilled in me, drilled in me. And so I never do anything apart from that, starting with myself first. And when those areas, one area is off in my life, starting with my spirit, Mm -hmm. generally my mental, emotional, and my body is following. So my whole concept was, is when you're spiritually ill, it's manifested mentally, emotionally, excuse me, it messes with your mental and your emotions, but then it's manifested physically. And so for me, it was like, this is why we're walking around sick. We're walking around with these diseases because we're spiritually sick. Mm -hmm. And the only way I know how to deal with that where people don't say, well, I'm not, I don't want to hear about God. I don't want to, is to address this from this perspective. Mm -hmm. We are all spiritual beings. Mm -hmm. And if I can get everybody to know this for a fact, that you are a spiritual person, 
or spiritual being having a, a um, like an earthly experience, then what will happen is it's not about are you a Christian or are you a Muslim or are you this. It's, okay, I'm a spiritual being. Let me take care of my spirit. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's that's where the blend pretty oh, much Oh, fantastic. And that's that is so needed. That's a great story yes. right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. And, and I, I was just talking with someone before I came to the studio, and she's going through a whole thing at work. Uh, and and she's got a filing a lawsuit and so forth. But we were talking about how stressed she has been, and mm-hmm. she was saying something that resonated with me was she told her son told her mommy, "Can we just hurry up? Can you just leave this job because mm-hmm. I want my mommy back? Mm-hmm. You are so mm-hmm. stressed out." She was mm-hmm. telling me her hair was yeah. just popping off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She could hear it popping off yeah. because yeah. of the the high pressure toxic mm-hmm. environment she's in, and we don't recognize how. Stress. Mm-hmm. I mean, it goes down and deep into your spirit, in and, and it ways. just starts to wreak yes. havoc yes. on your body. Yeah. So, and then sometimes we don't have an outlet. So, mm-hmm. this is amazing that you have doctors. So, how did you create? So, when you were selecting the lady doctors, mm-hmm. what was the process on what how what the outcome is today? Mm-hmm. That's a good, very good question, Crystal. Um, let me just also say thank you for allowing me this time to even share about the blend. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, you are so welcome. The lady doctors, when I literally um, wanted to assemble this team together, I knew that I wanted African-American women, okay, because yeah. that was my prayer. Mm-hmm. But then I, people were in my ear, you can't have a show like that because nobody's going to watch it. But I also look at the times. There was a show that uh, they had on a couple summers ago, Four Preachers. There were four mm-hmm. black men, you guys mm-hmm. remember? Mm-hmm. And um, Bill Geddes, who was uh, the producer or co-partner with Barbara Walters for many years, mm-hmm. one of the last things he wanted to do prior to, to kind of exiting the business was to do a show that was positive. Mm-hmm. So he assembled these men together, not looking for four black men, but that's what he ended up having. Mm-hmm. So, I, And this was aired on Fox through a trial. And I said, if they can do it, then we can do it because the times are changing. Mm-hmm. So um, when I started out, like I said, my original thought, four black women, I started knocking on doctors' doors. I just oh. literally would show up. I'm a person that if God have put something oh, in your I heart, love her. I'm, I'm <laughs> one of those kind I of people. I'm going to do it. So I would pop up in their offices and I would tell them, listen, I have this vision about the show. They would listen intently and then they would literally say, you know what? I'm interested. Okay, how can we work this out? So that's how I got my first set of doctors. Mm -hmm. And um, it was awesome. Went through the rehearsal process, all that good stuff. But shows evolve. So eventually, um, having gone through um, one set, actually taping uh, with another set uh, of doctors because like I said the vision changes you never really kind of want to set settle on something mm-hmm. you got to let it grow right. so when we actually shot a pilot 2016 those doctors that I had were awesome mm-hmm. but I knew that the doctor show wasn't quite there so mm-hmm. I sat on it because I honestly believe that you have to let things mature. Mm-hmm. Like the, there was a saying, don't sell any wine before it's time. Right. 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 You got to let it evolve and mm-hmm. look by the grace of God doing that I didn't have the proper investor at the time. You can't be hasty. People kept saying, go to networks, knock on the door. Nobody's done this. Mm -hmm. But I knew that a network wasn't where I needed to be because we needed to have a true voice. And I did not want anybody saying, you cannot have four African-American women and you cannot talk about God. And so with that, I just waited waited, I think about it, and out of the blue, literally, I submitted a proposal uh, regarding one of my film projects, and this beautiful couple, the Chows, saw the the, uh, the film, and they wanted to, you know, f- uh, possibly f- uh, fund the film, but also submitted Lady Doctors, and with that, they liked it, and they said, you know what, we want to cut you a check, and the rest is history, wow. and so with that, after germinating for a while, the blend, because I knew I needed to change the name, the blend, because I want the spirit, mind, and body to harmonize. And then I started thinking about doctors, thinking about doctors, thought about the one that I worked with, uh, thought about Jewel Diamond Taylor, who's our, our spiritual advisor, um, thought about a couple of other people. And then one day, Dr. Peace was referred, and you're going to be talking to her soon, Mm -hmm. and I'm going to kind of segue, let you guys segue into that. And then Dr. Peace was referred to me, and I met her, and we asked her to be a guest host, you know, uh, in our rehearsal process, and then she just, she was a fit. So basically, we went through these several, a couple sets of doctors until I arrived at the set that we 
we currently have now. And I believe that these doctors, excuse me, let me, uh, and I, I don't want to leave Don out in any way, shape, That's or form, okay. because Don uh, is a recurring, but she is a she is a co-host. You might as well say that because her her area is physical. She is my physical person. Mm-hmm. And I knew that if we were going to have a physical person, we needed somebody who lived that life, mm-hmm. somebody who was about that life right. and not just doing this for television. And mm-hmm. when I met this lady some yeah. years ago, I mm-hmm. never forgot that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so, you know, thank God that she was willing to do this. But um, anyways, Dr. Peace came with us, and it was just a fit because they are true representatives of spirit, mind, and body that we have now. So yes. well, I hope that answered the question. I definitely would love to welcome you to the Business Zone. This is really, really a pleasure having you here. Thank you. The accomplishment that I've seen over you know that one day that I was there was just so phenomenal. Yeah. What we preach here on this show is business readiness, mm-hmm. contract readiness, and bank loan readiness. Mm -hmm. And what you're talking about right now is program readiness. (laughs) You had your program ready before you went out. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you knew that it wasn't where it was supposed to be. And that's why you were trying to get those other ingredients to Mm -hmm. make sure the blend was the blend. Exactly. So my hat's off to you. Yes. I really, really admire that. And even when she was doing the um, the conference, I mean, she she knew when to pull the cord mm-hmm. because a lot of people just would have just gone ahead with mm-hmm. it because. Yeah. But because. it just wasn't it wasn't doing what she needed right. and what her vision was. Right. Mm-hmm. So she mm-hmm. pulled the cord. Right. And I'm sure she, it was a lot of work and a lot mm-hmm. of planning that went into it. And so that's what I mentioned to her is that I think the blend was supposed to be the first yes. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. introduction to the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the conferences no will right. come right. because mm-hmm. she will have driven the traffic right. mm-hmm. with the message mm-hmm. from the powerful people mm-hmm. that are going to be delivering that message. So sometimes, you know, we get want to put the right. cart before the horse, mm-hmm. but God says, nah, mm-hmm. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. So, but you know, and sometimes that hurts, right? Because right. right. you got right. all these big master plans mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and what is it, let you go do the plan. What is mm-hmm. that, that, that uh, quote? Um, uh, uh, you make the plan and don't invite God in yeah. on making the plan <laughs> yeah. or get his yeah. version of the plan and yeah. you decide yeah. this is my plan. Yeah. Yeah, nah, that is not I how think, that works. Um, when, I, when I met LaVonda, I didn't, I didn't meet her around the conference time. I met her when she was about to do the, the Lady Doctors. Mm-hmm. So I think the conference was, was, was before the Lady Doctors? Mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't there for the, for the conference, but I was there and I did the meetings with the Lady Doctors and she did the first oh, that's taping. Right. that's right. But um, when when LaVonda decided she was going to put things on hold, I was no in no way, no way frustrated or no way um, uh, sad about uh, it because not at all. Because yeah. when I when I met this lady, I met someone with a passion for what she was doing. Mm-hmm. She a woman that hears from God on a vision, mm-hmm. and I said, if, if you're anything like Crystal, I know it's gonna it's gonna come around. Mm-hmm. So she would call me. Do you still with us, Don? You still with us? Yeah. Yes, I'm still with you. <laughs> when you ready, I'm there. Because if you if you listen to her, it's like. You, you're afraid not to go with yeah, her. Yeah. You know, you're afraid not to be on board. Because, because you no, feel like you're going to miss out on yes, something. Yes, because whatever she touches, I believe yeah. God has ordained it, oh, and I yeah. believe it's going to be great. Oh, yeah. So I am super mm-hmm. excited. I think that it's, the blend is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember the first group of women, and they yeah. were great yeah. in their own right. They were yeah. great. I met all of them. I thought it was wonderful, and I sat back and I said, mm-hmm. this is going to be great yeah. because yeah. I was getting to know her, and she does everything with excellence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's prayerful, yeah. and she's I believe she's really really seeks God's face. I don't think she just, she just moves. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so I was excited. Mm-hmm. And then when she said, I, I, I like these group of women, I think, I think there's something else, there's something else there. I'm going to mm-hmm. revamp this thing. And when she brought together these four, yeah. mm-hmm. I said, I thank you, Lord, that she remembered me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these so, four women ahead, are absolutely And it's so, awesome. I mean, there's so many, uh, um, I mean, different, spe- you know, specific, uh, you have medical doctors, your psychologists, there's so many, your educators, there's so many different types of doctors for you to, because that's a, that's a big job, I would think, is being able to select that right person 
to deliver what was in your head because mm-hmm. it wasn't in their head it was in yours that you were the creator of it so how did what was that process and and I'm glad you you said that again because when you go back to the lady doctors I I actually had to have lady doctors doctors MDs PhDs sitting around that table mm-hmm. and so um and hence that was another reason why I felt like we needed a name that was more um, definitive of what we were trying to accomplish or our objective was this show which is spirit mind and body but uh, looking for those particular medical doctors I wanted I didn't just want us disseminating information. I really wanted people who could um, who could emanate the the spirit, the, their being, their their who they are. And I think we have that in these four women. Mm-hmm. I honestly do. They have their own you know distinct personalities, and they're coming five person. I should say five because I, when I don't see Don sitting around there, but <laughs> um, you know these five women who are experts in their own right, mm-hmm. but they. Every time I watched The Blend, because, you know, I have to sit in the editing process, Mm -hmm. I always felt good Mm -hmm. when I left that show. I would be clapping, Mm -hmm. and I'm saying, I'm not just clapping because this is my show. I'm clapping because this is good. You know what I mean? This is inspirational. And that's not something you can do. That Mm -hmm. comes from God having done Mm -hmm. what he's doing through these women, and they are providing. And so I'm just grateful that these four women that Mm -hmm. we selected— Um, in that, pro- I didn't really select them to be honest. Mm-hmm. They, they just they, they came. came. Right. Yeah. They they literally came. The first time I was knocking on doors. Yeah. This time they just yeah. they, they found came. you and they, they found all, me. And they yeah. all for a different audience, a different demographic. Yeah. Of, Which got, is yeah. great. Yeah, peace. Who you're going to meet in the moment, mm-hmm. Doctor Peace? Mm-hmm. She's the millennial, mm-hmm. and you got Jewel Diamond Taylor who has her own her own audience. Mm-hmm. And that, Absolutely. So I think that yeah. it's definitely a blend of the right women. That's Absolutely. phenomenal. No doubt. So no doubt. I have a program called Small Biz Pro. It's a uh, it's a compliance, it's a, it's a software, business management software mm. platform to help small businesses to become business ready, contract ready, bank loan ready. So when I was trying to determine what name I'm going to give it, mm-hmm. because I couldn't figure out the name, it took me a while. I, you know, it, I've been toiling and toiling, tossing it back and forth. I'm coming up with all these words and names and they're too long and too complicated and not easy to remember. Until one day it hit me, Small Biz Pro. <laughs> really easy, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to figure out with you on the blend. I know you've been tossing around some, some titles in your head. What do I want to call it? You know, what am I gonna... And then you finally settle on the blend. So mm-hmm. tell me about that process. You know what, Gil, but I, I kind of hinted at that uh, a little bit ago. I basically said that I knew that the spirit, mind, and body needed to harmonize. Uh-huh. And so the only word that I could come up with that what I felt like was catchy still was the blend. Was the blend. How long did it take you to come to that? You know what? Not long. Really? No, not long because I just thought about words that unify. Yes. You know, words that spoke yes. of unity. So See, that's how blend. you know when your vision mm-hmm. is at that point of fruition. Right. Mm. Because... Okay. The, the the title mm-hmm. that you give to that project mm-hmm. will always it always emanate everything about right. it, and that's what that is right there. If you guys don't mind, I'd really like to kind of begin to to state these these things that I think are a must to be associated with the blend talk. Yeah. The blend is a movement. Yes. Okay. The blend is not just a talk show. The yes. blend is a movement. I, I, the vision that God have given me, and I know it's God because there is no way on God's green earth, Lavonda Rouse could do it alone. Yeah. Right. And so I thank everybody that has collaborated with me. You yeah. cannot do this alone. I'm yeah. talking past, present, mm-hmm. and folk that that are here and those that are gone. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yes. Because you need everybody to help you bring this to pass. The, the people that you know were were meant to be. So, anyways, with that being said. Um, the blend is a movement, and the reason I say this is because we've got the Me Too movement, we've got we've had the civil rights mm-hmm. movement, all of these movements that have impacted society, impacted yes. humanity, mm-hmm. and have brought about tremendous change. Yes. Well, that's what this one is. Yes. This is a movement to take us right back to where we need to be, and mm-hmm. that is to acknowledge that we are spiritual beings, yes. and that we can begin to heal our spirits, that our mind and our emotions will follow, and that our physical man right. will carry that wholeness. This is yes. a wellness journey for real a road of of wellness and I love it because I'm on that journey. Mm -hmm. I am so grateful that I am not there yet. I Mm -hmm. have not arrived and that I'm broken in areas and they need to be fixed. I need this show. That's why this show was created because LaVonda Rouse needs this Mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. I don't even put that off on anybody else. And if I need it, I'm pretty sure there's some other people that need it. So I need people to get out there and tell folk that this is a movement that we are trying to make blenders. Mm -hmm. I want the blend 
the thought of the blend, not the word, the blend per se, but the mm -hmm. thought of spirit, mind, and body to just be so um, on people's mind that I got to worry about my, I'm not worried, but I got to take care of my spirit. Mm -hmm. I got to take care of my mind. I got to take care of my emotions. I got to take care of my body. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking for with the blend. So, yes, this is not just a talk show. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's a movement. It's a movement. Mm -hmm. And I... And the beauty of this is not only, and I know we're at the top of the hour, we got to take another break real quickly, but not only does the show have this great information that's been disseminated, right. but every time someone talks, because I look at Dawn all the time, mm -hmm. she talks about it, every time someone speaks about the blend, they smile. Yes, they, you they, can't. Yeah, you everyone. Have to smile because it's I, not I, I see, I look at you, mm -hmm. you smile when you say yes. it. I look at her, she smiles when she says it. Yes, Dawn yes. and Crystal. Yes. So that's it's the secret fun. ingredient yeah. that you're probably not paying attention to, right. but it's out there. Okay. Even, uh, that, even when we were evaluating the show, last, I'm looking last. around the room and everyone, they're just smiling. While we were yeah. at the at the yeah. at the theater, They're also, smiling. you know, wow, what's going you. on in in the world today when it comes to women mm -hmm. and what took place last week with uh, uh, with the appointment of uh, the Supreme Kavanaugh. Court, Supreme Kavanaugh. Court Jessica, yeah. So you know, and when I was in at the training seminar, there were I, this is the very first time I've been in a room where there were about seventy people in the room, and the majority of them were women. You know, Majority, and there are about fifteen women that stood up um, that had been abused, violated, mm -hmm. um, ignored, uh, felt that they were insignificant in in a world that's predominantly men, and and that's the first time that's ever happened because usually I'm surrounded by very strong women, mm -hmm. so we stand in our right. own power. But this was the first time, and, and I met numerous of women that they got married, came from other countries, and they got here, and their husbands just dumped them and with their children. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah. And that right on the backside of that, of, of that decision, it, it left everyone feeling like, especially women that have been in those positions mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. and pretty much all of us have been in some sort mm -hmm. of compromising, yeah. uncomfortable right. Uh, that that still is in the resident memory, yeah. that we were insignificant. Mm -hmm. mm. Last week, we were insignificant. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. They said that nothing that we cared about, mm -hmm. our bodies, they, we, that they don't care about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have to dictate what we should do with our bodies. Mind. Um, our mind. Mm -hmm. whether, you know, someone made a comment that women need to be able to prove that they were yeah, violated. That's a, what? That's the first lady I who mean, said that. Right, that that's you ridiculous. have to prove and have evidence. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, we don't. That's ridiculous. We don't, because some knucklehead person feels that they have power and dominion over our decisions, mm -hmm. and that's why this movement is important, yeah. mm -hmm. because women need to feel... All women need to feel they have a that voice they have and a, a platform. voice mm -hmm. and that they are very significant. And one of the things I said, those very men that were making those comments to those women, they came of from the body of a woman. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. And if she had not housed them for nine months, mm -hmm. they would Come not on. be on right. this earth. Yes. Yes. And to yes. say that we're Preach insignificant, insignificant and we multitask, we mm -hmm. raise children, we work at jobs, mm -hmm. we we manage budgets. I right. mean, yes, yes. we're doing things that men couldn't even possibly, right. sorry, yeah. Gilbert, it's but true. possibly do and we're always in the moment. When you have mm. children, you're always, always in, in the, the moment. moment. Yeah. You're always 10 steps ahead of yeah. them trying to figure out how you're going to get them to school, get them dressed, get money, feed them, do all yeah. that, take care of your husband, and take care of a job. Mm -hmm. yes. We're not yes. insignificant. Absolutely yeah. not. And so this is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is to let women know who are less powerful than mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. right. that if you, you are not the voice, then I'll be the voice Come for on, you. Right. We'll advocate for and you. And I mm -hmm. will advocate for you. Mm -hmm. And I will I will motivate and inspire you yes. to mm -hmm. raise yourself up to yes. the point that you can speak for yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I can just, oh, thank you for that. If I can interject this. My, uh, my belief is this. If you can heal the woman, yes. you heal the family, mm -hmm. you heal yes. the man. Mm -hmm. There Absolutely. ain't no way in the world mm -hmm. you cannot begin with the woman. Right. She's the nurturer. She's so the nurturer. You, you're you right are. on point. Right. And that's, that's what true. I felt when I came, when I, yeah, after that, it was that, you know, 
a whole bunch of this n- nonsense makes me crazy, but yeah. that one made me the craziest yes. because right behind that, they're telling this woman, yeah, I believe you, but it probably did happen. Just wasn't this jerk over here. Right. But you don't know what you're talking about, yeah. woman. Mm-hmm. You're she's a PhD. Come on. That yeah. woman sat there and 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 not just from an well, emotional she schooled place. Them. Mm-hmm. She schooled she schooled all of them. them, but <laughs> they still told yeah. her she was insignificant. Right. Mm-hmm. That's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. The number that sticks out in my head, which really is very haunting, is that it's one in six women that is abused. Mm-hmm. One in six. Go ahead, yeah. then. And then think about if if Caucasian women are experiencing that, mm-hmm. how much more the black woman? Right. Exactly. How much more that silent voice? And that is why we have to yes. listen. We have been conditioned in society, mm-hmm. and we've been conditioned to receive from certain people. Yes. And the one that we've been most conditioned not to receive from yes. is the black woman. That's mm-hmm. true. So now you're seeing this 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 uh, surge yes. of black women come to the forefront yes. from the political advantage, the economic advantage, and the media advantage. Yes. And this is what I believe. Mm-hmm. Imagery is what got us here in the conditioning. Yes. It's going to take imagery to recondition right. us. Uh-huh. And this is why it was important yes. for me to have black women. Women, yes. so that other black women could see them, yes. and so that other people could start the the conditioning, the reconditioning mm-hmm. process mm-hmm. to say if these are credible women, mm-hmm. they're educated. What even if they're not? But if they have credible information, I can receive from yes. them. Exactly. And the only way that can be done, such as a program like this, listening right. to intelligent people like yourselves, right. only way that I can can receive from you and know that this is exist mm-hmm. is I've got to see it. I've got right. to hear it. Right. And it has to be, it's a repetitive Repe- it's process. It's got to be exactly. 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 It's not just a one-time thing. That's true. So I start, I, we've released our, um, our show on Facebook mm-hmm. uh, at the, uh, what is it, the Facebook, the Blend Talk Show. Mm-hmm. And I didn't do it because I couldn't go to a network. I did it because I must have the voices of black women mm-hmm. heard. And because of this thing called the Internet, thank mm-hmm. God yes. for it, mm-hmm. we can now be heard across the world and mm-hmm. no executive can decide that, mm-hmm. that, fa- that uh, feat for us. That yes. And true. so we thank God for the Internet. Yeah. Yep. And I think that's absolutely because that, that just takes you not just domestically, that takes you internationally. Right. Yes. There's so many women around the world that truly need someone to advocate and to inspire them. So congratulations yes. on your project yes, and you. we're definitely supporters of that and definitely. we love our Don yes. So, yes. Um, and so we're supporting and, and yes. so now we're going to this is phenomenal we're going to take a quick yes. break and then we're going to bring up the one of the other the doctors yes. that's yes. on the show and, yes. and it be introduced to her and yes. get her input and, and, and continue to interact with and everybody. have her tell her, her story her as well. story Absolutely. so you are uh, tuned into the business zone with Crystal and Gilbert and if you have some comments and, and would like to ask some questions of both LaVonda and Dr. Peace and Don Strozier, Strozier here, Strozier. the phone number is 323-373-3375. And give us, give us a call. because Give this us is, a call. We want to hear from we're you. We're about to ch- make yes. some changes oh, yes. With, yes. The, with black women at the helm of it. And it's important that we support and uprise each other. Yes. Okay. And, and uh, behind every strong black woman is, is a strong it's black our woman. Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> Hello, meet Larry. Larry is a general contractor. Larry is very good at his craft, but Larry has a very tough time managing his paperwork because he is busy taking care of his clients' needs. Larry just cannot find his important business documents when needed. Larry is also being passed over for bid opportunities from prime contractors because he is perceived as not ready. He doesn't know where his business license, certifications, insurance, and other key corporate documents are located most of the time. Lucy owns an auto body and collision repair shop and has been using a business management and procurement assistance program called Small Biz Pro to keep her business organized, business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. Small Biz Pro is a three-in-one cloud-based business management, procurement, and market research assistance system designed to help businesses become business-ready, contract-ready, and bank loan-ready. It also provides back-office operation solutions for small businesses. Lucy is able to stay ahead of her competitors because she uses Small Biz Pro to manage her business daily. 
Lucy just clicks on Small Biz Pro from her tablet, mobile phone, laptop, or any internet accessible device for data retrieval, and she's got it. Lucy introduces Larry to Small Biz Pro, and now Larry is more organized and can now find all of his documents and new bid opportunities in seconds. Larry now saves $120 in labor costs for each missing or misplaced document. Just simply go to your web browser and log into smallbizpro.net and register today for a limited 30-day free trial offer. Services start as low as $1 per day. Let's put the competition out of business. Small Biz Pro. If you stay ready, you don't need to get ready. Register now at smallbizpro.net and begin saving money. Email info at smallbizpro.net or call Larry is a general contractor. Larry is very good at his craft, but Larry has a very tough time managing his paperwork because he is busy taking care of his clients' needs. Larry just cannot find his important business documents when needed. Larry is also being passed over for bid opportunities from prime contractors because he is perceived as not ready. He doesn't know where his business license, certifications, insurance, and other key corporate documents are located most of the time. Lucy owns an auto body and collision repair shop and has been using a business management and procurement assistance program called Small Biz Pro to keep her business organized, business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. Small Biz Pro is a three-in-one cloud-based business management, procurement, and market research assistance system designed to help businesses become business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. So it also we're provides back on the back zone, on zone with Crystal, Don, Doctor Lavanda. No, no, oh, no, no, I'm Don. sorry, <laughs> Lavanda Rouse. Lavanda Rouse, mm -hmm. and our new special guest, which Crystal is going to tell us who is in the studio today. So we are very ple is a pleasure to have you in the studio today, mm -hmm. yeah. Doctor Peace Amand. Amadi. Amadi. Yes. Je, uh, but she likes to be called Dr. Peace. Mm. She's a... Dr. Si Amadi's my dad. <laughs> there you go. She's a psychology professor, speaker, and writer. Uh, she believes she has been empowered to empower others' lives. Mm. She carved out a unique uh, expertise, media psychology, where she concentrates on how traditional media and social media impact our lives and relationships. And so so in a compelling 2017 TED, TED Talk mm -hmm. at UC Davis, she shares insights from her fascinating research that reveals how social media is greatly impacting people's lives, creating anxiety, depression, mm -hmm. psychological trauma, and insecurity. Wow, yeah, especially with our children. Mm -hmm. uh, equipped with a doctorate in psychology from Azusa Pacific 
College University and a BA from UCLA. Dr. Peace build, builds off her expertise to help people better understand themselves. So we want to welcome you. Thank you. And that's Thank a you unique, you know, very timely uh, specialty. Yeah. Because yeah. Um, it's interesting. I, I taught some kids this summer uh, how to become entrepreneurs. And when I was asking them to solve specific pain or to identify the specific pain that they felt in their world, about 10 of them came up with businesses that was re in relationship to stress mm. that they encounter every single day. Mm. Yeah. And the only yeah. thing that made sense was social media. Yeah. That's the one thing that they all had in common. And this was from age 11 to the age of 18. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't so, surprise me at mm -hmm. all. I mean, social media has taken over, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, technology, technology for decades has been a huge part of our life, but social media in particular and the way that it interacts with us is something that we can no longer ignore. Mm -hmm. We are slowly changing as people, our memory, our attention, our self-esteem, where we put our value because of social media. And you're absolutely right that it's hitting our young people the most, but it's also hitting us as adults as well. We're impacted mm -hmm. by social media. It's hard not to be. It's everywhere. Right, right. It's everywhere. And in mm -hmm. fact, I was reading an article uh, this weekend, and it was saying it's almost impossible not to interact mm -hmm. on your social media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like it's become mm -hmm. just as natural as brushing your yeah. teeth. Yep. Right. right. And, and that's because social media exploits the most human parts about us, right? So as humans, we have fundamental needs to be seen. Mm -hmm. We have a fundamental need to share. We have a fundamental need to exchange with one another. I mean, these are things that make us human. Social media is a platform. It's a virtual platform for us to do the things that are natural truly us. So it gives us this opportunity and we engage in it. And, you know, it's, we, it's obvious, I think, when you realize that, that it's incredibly hard to avoid being impacted in it because, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're, we're getting to be human just by being on social media. Yeah, exactly. And, and with the, since um, the new administration, uh, it, has, <laughs> it has had some very negative impact on people. I, I believe, I think before you, first of all, you weren't quite as drawn to it every single right, hour, right. every single minute as, <laughs> as it is today, because you're afraid, like, well, I better check in, because I don't yes. know what's about to happen. Right. Right. <laughs> so part. now you do before, but children are definitely. So tell me, in that research that you were doing, what were some of the interesting things that you found out? Yeah, particularly with social media. I mean, there's a lot of research that converges around the idea that the more we use it, the more depressed we become, oh um, the more anxious we become, wow. um, the more concerned we are, and actually the more isolated we become, which is so interesting because you think social media is going to bring you Together. closer to right. people. I mean, that was the idea, that was the, that was the goal, mm -hmm. but we're finding that we're actually becoming more isolated because we're replacing real human time, one-on-one -on -one time that has been, you know, one of the most important things for health since biblical days, just mm -hmm. relationship, face-to-face -face touch, mm -hmm. we're replacing that with with online interaction, and so it is not giving us what we truly, truly need. So, of course, we're more depressed. Of course, more, we're more anxious. Now, that being said, I mean, I don't personally demonize social media because I do think there's value to it. I just think we're misusing it and we're allowing it to replace things that we shouldn't be allowing it to replace like this, mm -hmm. like this yes. time. Yeah, it's important. Social media can't right. touch us, right? Right. And if we go, there's, there's studies that show if we go weeks, months, years without touch, you know, that alone creates depression. That mm -hmm. alone creates anxiety. So replacing all these things that we need naturally with interfacing with technology it's, it's it's not it we need to we need to right. re we need to reorganize and reprioritize how we how we do life Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you know because years and years ago you know, with Pavel's dog and I, I took mm -hmm. psychology was my initial major then I switched it over to business but that was something and I was uh, going into child development and it talked about the child needing to be touched yeah. and I find that very mm -hmm. important today because I've actually been in some school environments and children are not touched in school because mm. of lawsuits and so forth. Right. And But you can't 
connect with a child unless you go like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that they understand that they can trust yeah. you. Right. It's so interesting that you bring that up because actually in my training as a clinical psychologist, there is a, there's a lot of debate about that as well, touch. Um, f- up until recently, it's actually be con- it's actually been considered unethical to touch your clients, touch the people that come into your therapy office. Mm -hmm. But while I was in graduate school, I was one of the advocates, (laughs) particularly for the black community, because I was saying, you know what, we have to look at the cultural context Mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. When it comes to, I can't speak for other communities, but when it comes to us, we are a very touch oriented culture. Mm -hmm. We're a very relational culture. Mm -hmm. We're a very uh, high emotion exchange Mm -hmm. culture, facial, all of that. Mm -hmm. So touch for us is healing. Mm -hmm. And if we're talking about being in a field that's supposed to heal people, but we're not allowing ourselves to do the things that people from specific cultures need, then what are we doing? Mm-hmm. So I was I've been one of those proponents to be to to really pay special attention to what different cultures need and being a black woman myself, knowing the culture, being a part of it. Um, want you know, giving some some um, pushback to this idea that we can't use touch to heal. Because that's you know, that's really important, I think, Absolutely. to us. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, of course, we have to be careful. Yeah. You know, you, mm-hmm. you can be inappropriate with that. But yeah. that in and of itself is not a bad thing. Well, no, I, I think it's important. I one time I met this Muslim woman. And, you know, you guys know me. I like to shake hand, touch, hug, whatever. And I met this lady and I went to go shake her hand. And she would never shake my Mm-mm. hand. Because in her culture, right, you don't do you that, don't do right? That. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and I was, was wow, you know, it made me take like a double take because yeah. in our culture, we don't, hey, how you doing? Shake right, hands, we right. talk, and then everything, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. You see what I mean? <laughs> down the street, yeah. make eye contact, yeah. right? right. <laughs> we're from a church uh-huh. environment, yeah, yeah. 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 environment that's yeah. what we're we hugging, yeah. that's important, yeah. that's healing to yes. us, yes. that's yes. connection yes. to us. Yeah, that was very, it was like a you know, a new experience yeah. for me. Yeah, and and you know, in in a lot of countries in in Africa and yeah. in, in the uh, um, uh, um, Arab countries, mm-hmm. you know, in some Indian com- uh, East Indian countries yeah. as well. That right. yeah, no, you can't touch can't the touch. women there yeah. off limits. Right. So tell me, Doctor Peace, your spot on the blend. Yes. <laughs> so what are you bringing to yes. the the blend? The blend. <laughs> I'm bringing peace. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Well, um, that's a great question. I am one of the two psychologists on okay. the show, um, but we we do have different backgrounds. So I do appreciate that. Even though me, at myself, and Dr. Gloria are the two psychologists on the show, mm-hmm. she comes from a a human potential, creative mm-hmm. side, and I come a little bit more from the traditional clinical side. But you know, my specialty really is looking at anxiety, depression, trauma in the Black community, mm-hmm. and like you read in my bio. I've over the last couple of years developed a specialty in media psychology. So mm. looking at ha- looking at how traditional media, film, television, yeah. and social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, is impacting mm-hmm. us for better and for worse because mm-hmm. both is happening. Mm-hmm. So um, one of my favorite, one of, well, you guys will be seeing. I'm not, I'm not going to say too much because you guys will be seeing this next week. But uh-huh. one of my favorite segments thus far has been when I was able to interview a, a fellow social media influencer mm-hmm. about social media, about being on Instagram, being a black woman on Instagram, particularly, Mm -hmm. and how we can either be inspired and encouraged or be um, disempowered by the representation or lack thereof Mm -hmm. in the social media space Mm -hmm. and how it's important to see ourselves, to Mm -hmm. be reflected back. Mm -hmm. Um, Because when you see yourself as a black woman in social media, in media, Mm -hmm. wherever, you know, there's a validation that comes with us. There's there's a legitimacy Mm -hmm. that comes with Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And we need that. You know, we, we absolutely, we need to see ourselves projected on these mm-hmm. screens mm-hmm. in a sense to know that we're okay that we're normal that we're beautiful mm-hmm. that we're amazing that we're worthy of being celebrated mm-hmm. Not you know in the stere- stereotypical right. way. Exactly, yeah, exactly exactly so I, I loved having that conversation with her and I love talking about that in general just the mm-hmm. importance of representation and all of these spaces which is why the blend in general is such 
an amazing show because here's that representation, right? Mm-hmm. It means four black women, black women from different walks of life, you know, mm-hmm. multi-generational, different skin tones. You mm-hmm. know, I, I'm the brown skin. You know, I'm, I'm probably the deepest yeah. um, colored woman on yeah. the on the show. And I love that. I love repping, you know, that yeah. chocolate, <laughs> you know, while being a doctor, while being in my 30s, right. while I'm next to women who are, um, you know, just different. Yeah. And but we're all here. We're all bright. We're all intelligent. Yes. We're all speaking to the wholeness of of a person, of a woman. And, you know, we are representing, we are projecting back to other black mm. women yes. that they are intelligent, that they yes. are, you know, worthy, that they can heal, that they can grow, that they can be whatever they want to be and sit at whatever table they desire to sit at. So I, I love that the blend is doing that without, you know, we don't even need to push that we're right. doing it. We're just, that's just what it is. Question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One, um, oh, I missed that one. <laughs> so that's a good question. I know. I <laughs> But the one I want to ask, oh, well, I remember now. Have you written any books? Hmm. That's a great question. Mm-hmm. I am working on one, You're actually. On yes. There, one should be released by the grace of God in 2019. Oh, Amen. Good. Mm-hmm. Because I think that will be very good in the community. Mm-hmm. Very good for us to, in several ways. One, it has information from your perspective. Mm-hmm. And two, a lot of us will gravitate more to that information mm-hmm. than we would from the dominant culture. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah. because their perception of us is not what our perception right. of us is. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, you can't, it's harder to trust people who don't look like exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. Or don't know your journey. Yeah, they don't exactly. Know they, don't, they haven't been right. there. So. so I can't wait for that book. Oh, thank I you. I want to really check it out. The next thing is that singer. What's her name? Coco? Coco Chocolate? Oh, Joy Stark. Oh, Joy Stark. Stark. She was was phenomenal. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Tell me about her. I mean... How yeah. did you guys find her? Is she the one who did the commercial for the? Don should probably yeah, speak like, to that. Uh, yeah. She's uh, that is Erica Campbell's sister-in-law. Uh-huh. That's oh, her yeah. husband. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, she hosted the the um, the red carpet event. Yeah. Erica Campbell from yes. the group Mary Mary. Oh. She's also my training client. I love her. She's a beast. Yeah. So she that was her sister-in-law. That's oh, her really? husband's uh, sister, and he produced that song along with Mary Mary's new song wow. and all the other stuff in the past. Mm-hmm. Erica Campbell, rather. Because that's one of the first things I was thinking when I hear the blend and. Then I hear the voice, like the person singing. I'm going, that's amazing. I love that. So you're referring to you're referring to you're referring to two different things yeah. now. Yeah. Now oh. the person who who did the um, the soundtrack to our that's our not, hit. That's not Coco. That's not. <laughs> no. Oh, I thought it was her. <laughs> no, that that uh, we can give that contribution to Wayne Lindsay mm-hmm. and oh. his daughter Alana Lindsay. Oh, She's okay. the uh, lead vocalist on uh, the Blend Talk. That. Was amazing. Yeah, that, they that did a beautiful thing. job. Because when job. I heard it, I'm going, Crystal, we gotta have something like that. On yeah. our show. <laughs> but everyone thought that they thought the young lady who was performing was the actual voice yeah. to, yeah. to exactly. the soundtrack oh, for the black girl. Yeah, no. 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 I guess it kind of no. tied into it. Yeah. Yeah. They just assumed because they wanted to know who did the song. Yeah. When they saw her, they said maybe yeah. that's it. Well, she was the in the house. Hot. Alana yeah. was in the house, but mm-hmm. um, Joy Starr. The reason I wanted her to come because of that song, Cocoa Butter, which just speaks to scars and Mm -hmm. and you know Mm -hmm. with the black woman Mm -hmm. and and you know we need to be we need to be whole so that's why i asked joy star to to come and sing that for us amazing yeah i think you guys should tell that story even more Mm -hmm. even on the show Mm -hmm. because a lot of people in the community can identify with those scars Mm -hmm. and those types of things you know and like we like we, we mentioned earlier i think the black woman is scarred more than many other no groups doubt. out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she had to endure a lot more than mm-hmm. many of the other cultures out there. So, you know, yeah. we should... Mm-hmm. You're right. And, yeah. and there's legitimate statistics yes. that support that. Exactly. And if we're talking about depression, anxiety, or yeah. trauma, we're talking about increased rates in the oh, black yeah. mm-hmm. community. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So there's so some many other tri- uh, challenges. And there's yeah. a doctor, Dr. Joy DeGroote. Do you, yes. you ever, yes. I'm sure familiar. you know her. Uh-huh. But Dr. Joel De- Joy, Joy DeGroote, Joyce DeGroote, yeah. she's written a book, and she this is her mission, and her passion is 
that we suffer from post-traumatic slave syndrome. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so her book is excellent because mm-hmm. it actually delves deep into the psyche mm-hmm. of what was going on with all of our people mm-hmm. and that when you look at trauma, so you're a clinical psychologist, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when uh, she, she, one of the things she talks about is after 9-11, there are still people recovering from the trauma mm-hmm. of 9-11, right. of losing yes, the love and just the same buildings ex- uh, explode and disappear, and right? That was just mm-hmm. in 2001. And that was in 2001. Yeah. So think about us in slavery. Centuries. And centuries. And we never had any treatment. No. no. We've been running, operating in a wounded, like a wounded animal, yeah. mm-hmm. trying to function right. and, and, and survive because mm-hmm. we're not thriving mm-hmm. because we have that emotional damage. Yeah. And one of the things when I look at, and I'm, I'm kind of a person that looks way behind the scenes and broad pictures. So <clears throat> this last week with the, with the whole Kavanaugh thing, here's what I saw. These were 80-year-old men making decisions Mm -hmm. that were definitely racially charged. Mm -hmm. And when I look at these 80-year-old men who were born in the late eight, nine, uh, early 1900s, mm-hmm. their father mm-hmm. was the child of the, the plantation That's owner exactly. that owned yeah. our people. That's, exactly. that's what that is. Yeah. <laughs> colonial times. So colonial yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. So that's only two day or only one generation away. Yeah. Their grandfather was a slave owner. Right. And yeah. they were that's raised that in that environment to hate us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and you have to ask yourself, why do they hate us so much? Yeah. But then you look at this desperate grouping of them that mm-hmm. are of a certain age mm-hmm. and that's losing a certain amount of power right. And, right. and dominion over a certain people. Right. Mm-hmm. And they could not control anybody else, no other ethnicity. Right. Like they and so anytime we strive to rise mm-hmm. above that, right. they make sure they remind us. Mm. So for me, when I when when Bill Cosby was convicted for the same thing that Kavanaugh was elevated for, <laughs> come on. Um, wow. mm. To me, <laughs> the way you even put that right now, right? It, it was yeah. the same thing, right? <laughs> so and then you go even dwell into deeper to that is. They didn't put Bill Cosby in jail. They put Cliff Huxtable in mm. jail because in he jail. represented yeah. and Clara Huxtable represented for those of us of that right. era yeah. Yeah. Uh, the possibilities yeah. mm-hmm. and the vision of what real wow. black America looks like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That you can become a doctor. Mm. You can be a lawyer. Mm-hmm. You can have beautiful children. Mm-hmm. And they can dress well and you can send them to school and you have the same interactions mm-hmm. that any other ethnicity does yes. with their children. Mm-hmm. They're not going to jail. Mm-hmm. So they put that him in jail. Yes. Right, right. right. To send a message to us. Absolutely. That I don't care. And he, the judge actually said this. Doesn't matter how much money you have. Doesn't matter how much influence you have. Mm-hmm. I control you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm putting you in jail for 30 years yeah. or whatever, 10 years, 10 years. to mm-hmm. prove to you that I still have the control. Wow. Right. Now, that's how I saw it. Yeah. Exactly. See, see, on my side, <laughs> wow. on my, which is amazing. That's a wow. great uh, perspective. Yeah, that's all I see. On my <laughs> side, this is how I saw it. I saw those as a bunch of privileged people. And I'm not going to say their ethnicity, but people, right? When I was in college, it was the same thing. You have those privileged guys. They run the, the fraternities, mm-hmm. right? And they do whatever they wanted with whomever they wanted. Mm-hmm. That's what I saw with that mm-hmm. judge mm-hmm. and getting away with it. Mm-hmm. So that was part of one of the reasons why I wanted them to do this investigation properly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And come up with some findings that would be really punishing, mm-hmm. you know, because the lady she she testified incredibly. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. And, and she understood what she was talking. Yeah, and she, she un- and her pain was it. real. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. yes. So in putting that in perspective with us, 
we know those pains. We know those things. I yeah. mean, for some of these guys, this just happened the other day, and they're just getting a taste of that. We've been getting a taste of this for years now. Yes, mm -hmm. Years now. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. and we continue to be re-victimized, yes. re-traumatized right. because yes. of the things that are still yes. going on. Mm -hmm. yes. And so, I mean, it's just a systemic issue mm -hmm. that we have to aggressively fight and resist. That's the word, right? Resist. 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 And, and to be very intentional about our healing because yeah. that's it. it's almost like it's hard to catch a break yes. you know it's hard and yes. not to not to you know disempower us or you know excuse you know ill behavior but it's hard to catch a break you, you know, know? and hard. we just have to be really protective of our psyches and our hearts and our minds and our relationships and and resist when we can because you know, a lot of the world is still not on our side, and but, that's but we're on love, our side. Yeah, and <laughs> I'd love to see your book because okay. I think going back to the book, book <laughs> yes, because I, I, I'm thinking about yeah. it. Because I think I have an idea where you're coming from with the book, mm. which is going to be great. Mm, thank you. I think yeah. with that mm. book, it's going to lay out some foundations for us. It's going to lay out some techniques for us going to lay out some some tips right and how that. yeah yeah mm -hmm. and how to <laughs> interact and overcome those types yeah. of things because no one has that for us and just like you said right for years now, we're dealing with our trauma. We don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. So that's where the blame comes from. Right. 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 So we brought the book. Next week, next week <laughs> Wednesday at 7 o'clock, we're going to be talking about it. And it's also important. Uh, <laughs> one of the things that Dr. Claude Anderson talks about in his book, Powernomics, is that the sub, the, there's five layers that will bring us to a, a place of wholeness and and that fifth layer is media mm -hmm. is taking control mm -hmm. of our own voices yeah. our own stories yeah. our own messages and our own ways to interact with our children mm -hmm. and so you can see like you know with Kanye yeah is there ever a need for us to understand how important it is to talk to someone to shed yourself of your pain? Mm. When you lose someone, and this is a big thing, especially for a number of us that are in our you know late 50s and in our 60s and so forth, we're losing our parents. Mm -hmm. That is our that is the substance of why you yeah. exist on this yeah. earth. Yeah. Is that mom or that dad? Mm -hmm. And and that's so especially the mom, yep. the woman. Yeah. So when you lose your mom, it's like now you're standing here. When I remember when I lost both my parents, I'm yeah. like, oh, my God, I'm an orphan. Right, right. right. right? right. And I'm a grown woman, but yeah. I'm an orphan. Right. Yeah. And so that being able to have that conversation that you guys are going to have on yeah. the blend yeah. Yeah. to help embolden women mm -hmm. to feel even if you you lose your mom the staple the structure of your right. foundation right. Mm -hmm. you have a tribe right. mm -hmm. yeah. of other women mm -hmm. that can help you mm -hmm. and 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 getting us past the place where we don't trust each other mm -hmm. and that we that we're in competition with each other See, right so there, that's, that what you just said important. about the tribe is critical and i love for us to talk a lot more about that maybe you should do a book <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, well, that's, I'm the I'm Bella serious. Network, that's their purpose. Yeah. That's, that's our purpose. We all don't have Bella. books. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, I should be writing books. Yeah. We really need that tribe. I mean, I just lost my mom like three, four weeks ago. Mm. Oh, and it's awful. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. awful. You know, you go in and out the, that feeling. Yeah. But the tribe, if you have like a tribe of other women to let you, hey, it's okay. Here's some things you can look at. Here's some coping skills. Mm -hmm. A lot of us right. don't have that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that I'm telling you, Crystal, yeah. that would be phenomenal. And then, so now the other doctors on the show, mm -hmm. what do they bring, and who are they? Uh, again, because the the show's the core is spirit, mind, and body. We have the spiritual advisor, uh, Jewel Diamond Taylor. I love Jewel. Uh, Jewel, I heard her voice back in the 80s. She's mm -hmm. been around a long mm -hmm. time, and mm -hmm. she is just one of those genuine spiritual beings. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it just, you totally gravitate towards her. There is um, Dr. Tabitha Carr. She is a naturopathic doctor, and one of the things I wanted to do was to offer the alternative to Western medicine, but I knew I needed somebody who was credible in doing that. Mm -hmm. So I uh, actually read an article on Dr. Tabitha Carr in Essence, and so I reached out to her because she's actually from Oklahoma, or she lives in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and so we have Dr. Uh, you know, she works, she'll be in that area, naturopathic. Mm -hmm. And then our last person is Dr. Uh, well, let me not say last, Dr. Gloria Chance, mm -hmm. and Peace already spoke a little bit about her and what she brings to the table. She's the other psychologist, but she's more on that creative artsy side. Mm -hmm. 
And then, of course, we have um, Don Strozier, who is, you know, our, our <laughs> I, I don't even like to limit Don to, you know, to the physical or fitness guru because I, there's just so much more to her. That's why you'll see her sitting at the, you know, at the table with these ladies yes. or what is interacting <laughs> with them because, I mean, she just brings so much more to the show. So we're looking forward, hopefully, in the future to see her, you know, cooking some nutritional meals mm-hmm. and yeah. some. And what other alternative methods of, um, fitness there there is out there so you know they're just they're beautiful people you know? they are and don yeah. miss don over here i met her at her zumba studio mm-hmm. uh, at her aerobic studio but mm-hmm. i went there for zumba mm-hmm. and i was just so impressed at how consummated she is in her passion mm-hmm. for what she does for mm-hmm. a living mm-hmm. and and it's not mm-hmm. It, it's from a different place. It's from her heart and yeah. her spirit. Mm-hmm. And, and she's training you to be a better you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily training you yeah. to lose weight. Right, right. She's training you to be a better you. Right. And, and also she educates. And she mm-hmm. educates. She educates you as she goes along. See, I educate when I teach as a, as a yeah. business management consultant. So that's why I can resonate yeah. with that. Yeah. Because when you educate someone, even if you don't touch them at that moment, mm-hmm. it stays in their mind. It does. Mm-hmm. They'll remember it for years yeah, to come. It does. So it does. that's why that is so critical. Mm-hmm. Amen. I love mm-hmm. it. So what are be, what will be some of the topics that you guys are going to discuss mm-hmm. it, throughout the, the Upcoming show? Shows. Upcoming well, shows. Upcoming shows. I know in our first few shows, we basically, um, the first one we dealt with uh, uh, stress, anxiety, and depression. Mm. And Dr. Speak, uh, Dr. P spoke to, uh, about that uh, briefly, but come on, you know, stress is a, a, just a big player in, yes. in our lives. Yes. Mm-hmm. And to me, at the end of the day, it goes back to the spiritual stress mm-hmm. that's on us. Mm-hmm. Um, I, you know, I'm not a psychologist, so I can't really speak f- f- from all aspects of the mind, but I do know that I believe that it starts in our spirit. Yeah, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, We'll be dealing with how to rise uh, from the ashes. We've all had challenges, mm-hmm. things that we've had to overcome. Mm-hmm. And I want to encourage people that you can get up. Like right now, I'm going through a ton of stuff, okay? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I don't wear it. I'm not going yeah. around, you know. I mean, don't, sometimes you lash out. But yeah. what I'm saying is <laughs> it's not – I don't stop because I have right. obstacles that I have to face or challenges. Mm-hmm. I don't want to give up. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're like, Lord, can you get a break? But yeah. at the same time, <laughs> mm-hmm. you're still moving. Yeah. Right. And I just want people to know that you can rise from the ashes. So we had the motivational speaker, uh, the incomparable Les Brown came oh, on yeah. <laughs> and motivated us like, I don't know what. So if you've you know been following us, mm-hmm. you've seen that show. And he coupled it with laughter and vision, great. visualization. And mm-hmm. Dr. Peace and Dr. Uh, Don, you guys might want to speak to this. I'll let Dr. P speak to that last show that we did about technology, but it's just, lady, I want to say about this show, this show is so positive. We're not spending time around the table talking about the latest gossip. We're not spending time talking Mm -hmm. about as my mother Nim used to say back in the day, Mother Nim, yeah. who shot John. Yeah, we are really, you know, we're really just trying to, to be positive women. Yeah, yeah. Because so many times people see black women as these women or carriers of everything but what we really truly are. Mm-hmm. And that is life. Yeah. And these women bring life yeah. every week. Like I said, I would watch this show and I would literally be clapping because it was like, God, I can't even believe you've allowed us to have this kind of television. We see people going, you know, we see black women, you know, cussing each other out, fighting, Mm -hmm. talking about, you know, competing. But you've got these beautiful five women who are doing something that just I haven't seen in my lifetime yet. Okay. Not all in, in, in. You know, usually is one, mm-hmm. but it's not a whole table full, mm-hmm. and, and very knowledgeable professional yeah. women right. who are who have that information and their expertise right. in their area. Mm-hmm. So, Don, your what your Don's space? Quiet over there. I know, I know. <laughs> Let me say this. I, 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 I'm smiling. I'm happy because I said I said a whole lot earlier. Absolutely love the show. I think one of the best compliments I've gotten from the show, my clients, I introduced them to Dr. Bob Marshall. If you know who he is, he is a, he's a, um, a doctor that comes on 99.5. 99.5 on Saturdays is nothing but health and wellness. Mm. So okay. He's a doctor in Santa Monica, and he deals, in, uh, he deals with um, natural healing. He also do, he doesn't believe in surgery at all. Mm. The guy's amazing. Oh, wow. I spend my time on Saturdays with 
pencil and paper, park somewhere, drinking some tea, listen to Dr. Marshall. Mm-hmm. And I, mm-hmm. all of my clients, when they first start with me, I, I have them meet me at 9.30, uh, 99.5 on Saturday, let's listen to Dr. Marshall. Because his show is that educating, it's that inspiring. You hear people calling about their problems, mm-hmm. and you get all your questions answered. Mm-hmm. So okay. two of my clients said, this is another Bob Marshall show. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to be there Bob. Wednesday. <laughs> I'm going to... So if I don't get anyone to talk to, I'm going to be listening to the blend. Mm. <laughs> if I don't get a chance to, if I don't have a psychologist I can go listen to, if I don't have, I can listen to the blend, I feel like yeah. the show is going to be another Bob Marshall show where I'm going to sit and hear challenges from other people and get my questions answered. I'm going to sit crying at the end of the show because I'm being healed That's through good. the TV, through Facebook. Come on now. Come That's on. what my client said to me. Oh, so wow. I think the show is going to be absolutely amazing and life-changing. So I'm just super excited. Today. And you guys are so natural. Yeah. You guys are, and you're just having conversations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and interacting with each other, which is important when you're in, mm-hmm. in the media space because that's how people resonate with you. Yeah. Um, and then, then once they do that, then they're embracing what you're what you're having to mm-hmm. say and then, and, and then hopefully then taking it to their lives and implementing it mm-hmm. in their lives. So mm-hmm. I, I'm just so happy for all of you. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm happy you, because this is passion. Mm-hmm. This is a passion project. Mm-hmm. It's passion yeah. what you do, passion mm-hmm. what you do. And I'm big on that, doing what God put you on this earth and if for. You, I'm not sure if you saw this past episode. I this past that. episode was this when we did the interviews, right? With The whom? interviews with the audience. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yes, yeah. yes. Uh-huh. I had so many compliments. There's no show that's pulling audience up around the spot, asking their questions and allowing them to interact with our expert who may come on. They got mm-hmm. a chance, Les Brown got a chance to directly answer some questions. And I felt like it's, it's a different show. It's not mm-hmm. been done before, and it's mm-hmm. going to add a whole lot of value and change some people's lives as watching. I am so excited about that. And let me say this. I know Dr. Peace wants to get something in as well, but, you know, this show will evolve. Okay, let me say that. We're, we've not even arrived, uh, I, I believe, fully where we're going. Oh, no. And, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, and and I say just, you know, take that ride with us. But th- this will be a place, as Don said, you can come and you can get answers. Um, you know, but we'll, we'll have a disclaimer there. <laughs> but, you know, but you will be able to, you know, feel like you're a part of, a, yeah. as they say, a sister circle. Mm-hmm. Right. And um, your spirit, mind, and body will be pulled in. Mm-hmm. And that is... That's what's exciting right. about this show. That's a concept out there, and people talk about it all the time. But we really, really, truly want to want to deal with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Where mm-hmm. it's just not some words, spirit, mind, and body, mm-hmm. but spirit Here. is being spoken to. the The body is being dealt with, and the mind and the emotions are being challenged. And 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 I don't know what you would say. Uh, you know, uh, Dr. made B. whole. Okay, made, yeah, made, made whole. whole, made stronger. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's, like I said, that's all part of us getting past our post-traumatic slave syndrome Mm -hmm. is to be healed. Mm -hmm. And and it has to come from inside Mm -hmm. because there's so many hidden uh, uh, hurts that you don't even know that are there. Mm -hmm. You don't know. I I remember I had a conversation with somebody recently and they were talking about how black women interact with their children, which is probably a great topic on Mm -hmm. your show as well. And and I saw it from a different place. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that used to happen during slavery and I think if you know your history you understand why we do what we do Mm -hmm. and for some of the things that we do so when our children when um, a mom's child was about four or five or six years old on the plantation uh, she she went into protect mode because when that child, if that child was bright, if that child was agile, if that child was strong, then that meant they were going to take that child from the mother mm-hmm. and put him in the field. Mm-hmm. And he no longer was under her protection. She never see so, and she would never see him again. Yeah. They could sell him off and do whatever they wanted with him because that we were their property, right? Mm-hmm. And so women began going, oh, no, you don't want him. Little Junior, oh, he he's dumb. He's not so bright. He's, he's, not so bright. he's addle-brained and that kind of stuff mm. because she was trying to keep okay. him with her for mm. as long as she yeah. could. Wow. Right? So then that tr- was in our DNA. Mm. So then our grandmoms and our great-grandmoms still were protecting their sons. And then mm. today they still have to protect their son. Mm. So they always ask, why are black women stronger and why were they raised differently than their mm. men? They had to protect us to a certain point. They taught us how to keep ourselves from being raped and molested. Mm-hmm. But their sons, 
they had to really protect so they don't get killed. so they would did not get killed mm-hmm. and so that's the the history behind mm-hmm. why sometimes our mom our black moms seem to over they baby their child their boys more mm-hmm. so than their women mm-hmm. their girl yeah, babies see that. and yeah. so it's our history mm-hmm. we got to tell our people have to understand mm-hmm. really what were the atrocities that took place in slavery, mm-hmm. which is really what shapes us as a people today. Mm-hmm. See, it helps, That's good. It helps I like when that. people hear the stories. The historical context. Yeah, because then they understand, they better understand. Mm-hmm. One of the problems that we have as African Americans is, and I was thinking about it driving in here today, I don't know why I was thinking about that, but we don't really team up. Mm-mm. We don't work together. But I was also coming from that time because if you, here's the thing, yeah. if if you were, we have to take the islands and it happened in Haiti, mm-hmm. um, when they, when the slaves outnumbered the white people in the area, they had to be able to control the masses mm-hmm. because, so they didn't want you to learn English, they didn't want you to speak your native tongue, right. they did not want you to conjugate together, come together to come together, they wanted right. the men separated from the women right. and they, and they and they use intimidation and torture to keep you from overriding and uprising against them, right? So so that's why, again, that comes from slavery. Mm-hmm. So we were taught to distrust each other mm-hmm. because that was their way of controlling us. Right. So again, it's the controlling, it's to... A releasing of the mind mm-hmm. and the mindset. I, I had a friend that had told me uh, right before Obama was elected that we should, and, and, that, and when Obama was elected, that was actually 400 years hmm. from when we were in slavery. So when the, which they keep saying the Willie Lynch letter is not true, in the Who letter... Yeah, well, a lot of people say that it was fake. Uh, so in the letter, it says, I will show you how to control your slaves mm-hmm. or people, your, oh, yeah. your blackies, oh, yeah. uh, for 400 mm-hmm. years. Well, when Obama was elected, yeah. that was the 400-year anniversary. Yeah, so broke, it and broke so, that spell. But at that point in time, a friend of mine said he wanted to have a big celebration. Mm-hmm. And it's almost like we need a big celebration that we then... Go cut the chains mm-hmm. that the is physical. still t- physical. Mm-hmm. It has to be a ceremony. Mm-hmm. We operate in ceremonies. Our mm-hmm. African ancestors operate in ceremony mm-hmm. that physically cut the chain, the chains mm-hmm. that is imprisoning, imprisoning our minds. Right. Right. The physical, invisible, and 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 the thing that I I, I really see is with us. It's got to be one layer at a time. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But first natural, then yeah. spiritual. Right. So what's happening in the natural is always indicative of what's going on in the spirit. So as the natural we're breaking out, cause, trust me, because we are breaking out. I mean, there are oh, movements yeah. all over. Mm-hmm. So the natural people are breaking out. That's what's happening in the spirit. Yeah. We're, we're, our spirits are saying, no, I want to be who I really am. Mm-hmm. Right. Free. Exactly. Yeah. Free. Amen. Free. <laughs> yeah. And so this is why shows like this, and you're going to start to see more shows mm-hmm. like this. Because people want these kinds of, it's 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 nourishment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the kind of nourishment people want. Right. If you read our Facebook page, I have not read one um, bad negative comment. Good. People are saying thank you for such a mm-hmm. program. Why? Because this is what I need. Mm-hmm. So this is why I tell everybody who's associated with this show, don't 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 despise small beginnings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trust me. Mm-hmm. You things that have to grow, they have to grow organically, mm-hmm. and they have to grow so that you have the real follower with you, so right. that blenders can go out and make other blenders. Because right. it's never about one person; it's always mm-hmm. about the perpetuation mm-hmm. of something. Mm-hmm. So when you get that one person, as you guys do, you're all mm-hmm. educators. You educate, then they go out and educate, and mm-hmm. they go out and educate, mm-hmm. and there you go, layer, 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 yeah. pulling the layers mm-hmm. off. That's how we become whole as a community. Yeah. Exactly. See, that's where we are. So all of us have our place. You guys, and you have now you have a platform mm-hmm. and to speak to women. Gilbert and I have our platform that we speak to business, business. owners mm-hmm. and help us rise up. Mm-hmm. And there's so many. There's like 14. There's 20 shows here mm-hmm. at this studio mm-hmm. that have messages that are going out to our population. Crazy. We have to command our own media. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don has her that shows. That's and, it. And, and, 
and Erica has her show. So there's many of us, but we mm -hmm. need to start to really support each other to help all of us grow mm -hmm. so that our message is out there so our young people can hear the message. Because right yes. now, that's my major concern yes. is about our young people, making sure that this is a better world mm -hmm. for them. There are those of us that are past a certain age. Yeah. You know, they're that mindset. Is, we're not going to change it, right? right? right. But uh, we can change a young mind. Mm -hmm. Right. And we can change a young mind that embraces how how passionate they are about what they are, uh, to embrace their freedom, right. and to to be able to create the Black America that we know that we're all capable of. But we have to empower our children to do yeah. that. Oh, so, the diaspora. So we've got about four minutes to go before so, the end of the show. So, um, how? does the audience get a hold of your show? Where do they find it? How do they know when it's on? You want me to? <laughs> okay. You, every Wednesday, you can um, tune into our, or click into our Facebook page, which is the Blend Talk Show, and I promise you we will show up. But not only there, we've, we're at the um, Instagram at the Blend Talk, Twitter at the Blend Talk. We have our website, uh, theblendtalk.com, and we actually have a podcast that um, we will be uh, establishing. So you'll have information about the podcast as well as you can uh, go to YouTube. Uh, in the YouTube portion, uh, click uh, put in uh, the Blend Talk. And we're going to build those subscribers, and then eventually it'll be just YouTube at The Blend Talk. So, listen, we thank you. Come. If you want more of The Blend, if you haven't seen The Blend yet, I encourage you to come. I can promise you, you will not be let down at all. Yes. And uh, you have something called The Pink Couch. Come on now. Uh, yeah, that's that's <laughs> what I call my brand. That's the name of my oh, brand, okay. The Pink Couch. So it's a blog. And, you know, in the future, it'll be a production company. That's one thing that I'm claiming. All right. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, that's what it is. And it's just about empowering women. And I don't align or engage in anything that isn't already aligned with what's important to me. So, you know, the blend was an easy yes because mm -hmm. all, all that we're talking about is literally all that I felt like God created me to do. Mm -hmm. okay. so, you know what's amazing? Yeah. Yeah. What can I find you? Oh, Pink oh. Couch Girl on Instagram and on Twitter. And Pink, you can find Pink me. Couch. Pink oh, Couch. Pink Couch. Couch Girl. Okay. And you can find me at theblendtalk.com yes. <laughs> as well. I just typed in the blend on Google. The and blend talk. I just did the blend. Well, the blend it's got to be the blend talk because I think there's show. another blend. And there's a whole lot of stuff about your shows here. Yeah. It's we like, got great uh, press. We got great press. This is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It's like one, two, three, four, five. I've never seen this before. Shout out to the best publicist in the I world, know. Phyllis Cadell. Phyllis Cadell. Uh -huh. Hey, <laughs> Millie Rock. Yes. 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 Phyllis Cadell. This is phenomenal. Uh -huh. I put it and everything, the mm -hmm. next five, six, is the blend talk. Yeah, when I went yeah. to do the research before they came on the show. And then you got some videos here, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is phenomenal. That's great. Yeah. Give God the glory. And, and listen, this is not about us. Mm -hmm. You know, come to us. It's like, this is about all, I mean, and I, I may have said this is about the community. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's about the community. And then I want to say Jewel Diamond Taylor, um, Don Strozier, Gloria, Dr. Gloria Chance, Dr. P. Samadhi, Dr. Tabitha Carr, these women are sincere women. Mm -hmm. These are women that you can truly learn something from, but at the same time, you can feel like, okay, I can really come and tell my secret if I need to, to this particular person. And it's safe. And I think we all want to feel like that when we're watching a show, mm -hmm. that, you know, I, I'm, I'm safe. Mm -hmm. You get That's what I'm true. saying? And that is what this show is given. So I'm saying, check out these women. Ch follow these women, uh, research these women, and you mm -hmm. will find that, that they are women of their uh, their professions, their words, and so forth. So I'm just excited to have them a part of our show, yes. and it's an it's a true honor. And we don't know where we're going all the way from are you here, going to the but we're going girl. somewhere. We're going fast. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. You're going to be wherever you want to be. Don, how do we find you? You can find me on all social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Dawn Strozier, S T R L Z I E R. You can find me every Wednesday at the Blend. That's right. Uh, Come on. And Gilbert, how do we find you? Oh, well, you can find me at uh, smallbizpro.net or you can find me at the, bit, the Buchanan Group.net. And uh, my phone number, 626 583 1186. Give me a call, and that would be great. <laughs> 
And you can find me on our, I'm the co-director of Recycling Black Dollars. So reach out. We're actually in our middle of our uh, 9090 membership drive and we're in advertising in our resource guide so that you have no excuse as to supporting a black business. You mm -hmm. just check out the business. We got some fun, exciting things that's about to happen. You can... Catch up with me every Wednesday night at the digital marketing class. We're learning some amazing stuff, how to monetize your your website and your blogs, uh, to, ex to create multi, alt, alt, uh, optimize and create multiple streams of income. And you can find me at Mitchell Business Solution, the Business Zone, every Friday afternoon from three to five at on YouTube and at MorrisMediaLive.com. So we are at the top of our hour. Yeah. It was a fast two hours. <laughs> so we want to thank everybody that's tuned in today. We want to thank our guest, uh, Levon, LaVonda. Welcome. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, Dr. Peace. Yeah. And of course, our oh, special yeah. guest, oh, Don Sherman, who has added such lively, uh, oh, yeah. lively energy, more so than even we have. And we have she's, some energy. She's building more fun than we are. <laughs> and, and so come back next week and we'll have some more amazing guests and we are ready to before, before we go oh, wait, ladies wait. you guys are invited back anytime you want oh, so just you. let thank us you. know we'll get you on this show well we got two yeah. more We're done. do both of the other doctors live in Los Angeles Yes. Okay, so we got two more yeah, we can actually them. interview as well. Maybe we can get all four of them on. Yeah, all yeah. right. We have to add another chair. <laughs> <laughs> so, but thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next week. Laron, thank you for your help. Mm -hmm. We're out. Mm -hmm. And we are out. As a small biz pro, I saw we roll. Using procurement, program, and control. As a small biz pro, I saw we grow. Using procurement, program, and control. I'm a business man, yes, I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, yeah. I'm a business man, yes, I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, yeah. I'm a business man, yes, I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, I'm a business man, yes, I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, yeah. Crystal Mitchell, do you have my business plan? Just review the pages of my marketing plan. Crystal Mitchell, do you have my business plan? Just review the pages of my marketing plan. Got my capability statement, yes, I'm ready to go. Got my balance sheet, my P&L, my statement of cash flow. I'm a business man, yes, I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, yeah, I'm a business man.